What's going on, guys? Today's show is brought to you by the Performance Package 4.0 from Manscaped. Summer is coming, and our friends at Manscaped just launched their fourth generation performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 4.0 to complement your physique with a trim from the leaders and male grooming. Summer's coming. Join the 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping using code RB. What up? How are you, man? Good, you? You did your hair for me today. Yeah, it's because I just did some cardio, so I like gave a little comb, you know? But you didn't, but your beard has been trimmed and disappeared. Yeah. Or your mustache. Yeah. Well, I did four weeks with it. You didn't do four weeks. You did like a week. No, man. I did that the first week we were in Vancouver. I left Vancouver a week ago and I was there for four weeks. So that's three weeks in van plus one week home. You've been home for like two days. <laughs> I'm home almost exactly one week ago. Has it been four weeks already? Yeah. Fuck. These bets suck. They go by so fast. Well, that's okay, Paul. No, my skin underneath it, like just from the humidity and the heat, like training, it was getting like irritated under it. So I just fucking shaved it down. Nick, what's up, man? Your hair's looking extra spiky today. Yeah, it's getting a little long. I'm yeah. gonna get a haircut tomorrow. I need one too. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you don't. You don't eat shit, you bald fuck. My gray. My grays are showing. Look. <laughs> Nick, how was your guest posing, man? It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was actually really fun. What was uh, what was the difference? What did you think was so great about it? Explain to people what a guest posing is like that haven't been to a show. Oh, I'm bad with words, man. I don't know. <laughs> bad with words. Uh, Ian, you want to explain what guest posing is like for those people who have never been to a bodybuilding show? It's like they're there to see you. It's just a good. It's like it's a good feeling. I don't think they're there to see you. I think it's like. The families are there to see their loved ones. Well, yeah, and then they on see stage. guest posing and they get yeah. excited and then they, yeah. you know, they want to watch. I always felt like sometimes when I guest posed, a lot of the times the people in the audience didn't even know who the guest poser was, but when they came out, they were like, holy fuck, who's that guy? Oh, well, yeah, that too. Because they've never seen... I think in a lot of cases, yes, but I think when you're doing a show like in where they were and that show yeah. had like a lot to do with these guys and I think with yeah. them guest posing, I think it was a lot situated around them for sure. No, no, yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that. It's but not, you are right. Oh my I'm God, saying, guy. Holy fuck, guys! Beautiful. What the fuck? <laughs> took me a, took me a minute to notice. I was I was Yo. smiling and trying not to smile because you guys were talking. I'm like these fucking retards on your yard. Yeah, you look goofy as fuck. <laughs> but is that why you have the toque on? Because you have to counterbalance the fact that you have no beard. Let's see your hair, hair guy. Call yeah, it. Let's see your hair. You should take you it. it. You called it. Oh toque. my god! Oh, you look, look like a penis. <laughs> no, but I so I, I figured I kept this, so I figured by a week like Sunday, this will be in dark Spring. enough to where like it's full. I think you should do the show without your headband on or your, your I think you should jump off a cliff into no water. Your toque or, or, or that. <laughs> beanie, whatever the fuck you want to call that. Can I compete like this? I think you seriously just do the rest of the show without it. No. I, I think you look I think you look good. I'm not I'm not hating on it at all. Let's see again. I want to see. Does it look good? This, this is gonna be this one more you, time. Just You're trying to get your buddy to have enough content to screw me over with his little I'm fucking not, I'm, not. I'm not, I swear. I'm just curious. Just one more time. You take a good look. Yo, you, you look, look like you look... you're fucking 21, man. This is great. Look at you. It definitely you... makes your ears look bigger. It definitely... <laughs> hey, Nick, listen, bro. I don't, what, what are you here to state the fucking obvious? Is that why you have me on the show? No, <laughs> I was before Nick insulted your ears. I was going to say it actually does look pretty good. <laughs> I know I have big ears. Let's fucking I've been getting told that since I was in kindergarten. No, but I'm saying it looks but I'm saying it looks good. Like you actually you look you don't look like bad with no hair and no beard. It's fine. Yeah. See, there goes your fucking bet right down the shitter. You look like one of Santa's helpers. <laughs> <laughs> you look like fucking one of the Hulk's children. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I wonder what it's like for we were talking about guest posing before you came on, guy. Yeah, I wonder what it's like for the fans that are there to see, like the moms and dads that are there to see their kids. And then a fucking behemoth like Nick yeah. comes out, like what they, the fuck? They, is this? Yeah, like they think their kid, like they're at home and they think their kid is jacked, right? They're yeah, like, they're like, I don't want my kid yeah. to look like this yeah. ever. No, you know? but then Never. they get they get there, they think their kid is big, and they get there and they see fucking Nick. Yeah, and they're like, holy fuck, what the fuck? If, is if that? I was at a show with my kid and Nick walked out, I would text my son and be like, you just fucking give up now. Just retire, yeah. Just, just quit. Just quit. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> 
one, I don't want you to look like that. Two, you won't. So just stop. I'd be, I'd be like, one, that like, I'd be like, not even I don't want you to look like that. If you're my son, those genetics are not in your playing card. So just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Hey, I saw the uh, the list for uh, Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico come up. I don't remember. I what don't even. I don't. Look oh, at there the it list. is. I, oh. I got it. I got it. So yeah, there's like four people in your class. Well, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see yeah. the 212 class. I just saw the open. I saw 212. There's only like four or five people in there. So does that mean guys going to win? My mind. That's actually. I don't. I, don't and know I have no doing. idea who the other ones are. When do you fly out, guy? Uh, Thursday early. The, the men's open lineup's a decent lineup. Well, one yeah, second. It's actually not that bad. One second, one second. So, guy, there's like four people doing. It. Are you going to win your your what your eighth show? Is that your eighth show or your seventh? How many shows have you won? Seven, right? You cut yeah. out. Is, yeah. Is your, yeah, yeah, seven. So, is this going to be your eighth victory? I don't. I don't know. I don't know who's doing the show, <laughs> dude. If you call, I have. I have no idea who the people are. If you win, that means uh, Ian is the only one left on the podcast not qualified for Olympia. Yeah. Do you Why? just stress? Like, I just want to make a point. Hold what? on. You're what? smiling. Dude. What did I do? <laughs> what did you I do? Just, you just hard stress that E, buddy. What E? E Ian's E. You just yeah, because it's because it's pronounced Ian's Ian. E. It's Ian yeah, now. You, you just you hit it with like a, a little oomph today. Yeah, but it's Ian now because of you. We just changed it to Ian. Ian. So okay, time out. So how do you properly say the name? <laughs> And I'm going to say this. If you don't get a shirt that says E IAN, you're not uh, I, not, not IAN. Just E dash I, 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 whatever. If you don't get a shirt like that made that would easily sell out, you're an idiot. Yeah. When, when people DM me now, they don't even say, like, hey, Ian, I have a question. They just say, hey, E dash IAN. That's all I've ever heard. So, can someone answer my question? It's yeah, more, it's just Ian. Ian. It's not that hard. It's just because guy says, it's like, Ian, right? Ian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just because guy, guy was saying guy was saying it. Ian, he still Ian. he still is. <laughs> I'm trying to use now. Ian. <laughs> Ian. <laughs> He's just saying E E N. Ian. Ian. <laughs> oh fuck. Um, I just want to point out, I've been a miserable fuck for the past four days. And I almost right. to text you today and be like, dude, just fucking do the podcast without me. Nah, we'll have a few laughs. Guy, I'm a little up. upset I'm not going to see you this weekend. Why? For that Aries Nutrition event, man. Oh, you're coming? Yeah, you're on the list. Well, Alice and I told Pat, I'm like, listen, when my show got canceled, I'm like, bro, yeah, no, I don't. like I said, I'm not trying, like, I don't cancel events, but I was like, if it's between me doing my job, which is competing or like going to an event, I'm like, you got a stacked fucking house going anyway. Yeah. And I'm like the local dude, so it's not like I'm bringing any fucking people that haven't, you know. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's I was just hoping to see you guys. He was really cool about it. So shout out to Pat, owner of Aries Nutrition. If you guys are around um, this weekend in the area, stop by the Aries Nutrition um, event. It's gonna be fucking packed house. Yeah, he's uh, it will be. He's like her. a real, he's a real bodybuilding fan. I like that when star yeah. owners are like actual bodybuilders. He's cool as shit. He's yeah. really cool. That's a great dude. So where's this? Where is this? It's in Jersey. Yeah. So there's that. They actually have a lot of people going to that, right? Like Victor Martinez is going to be there. Nick, you're going to be there. Yeah, Justin's going to be there. There's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait. No, Cotler wasn't going to this. Brandon Curry's going to be there. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. Um, okay. So, Guy, you're going to win, right? Oh, well, yeah. There's four other people. Now, look, look at the confidence. It, it's like <laughs> that's the only reason. Can I? Well, let me explain something to you. Fucking. He's like, no one's gonna be there. He's like, <laughs> let me explain something to you. I competed in one of the biggest two twelve shows ever, which was the Toronto Pro Show in two thousand fourteen, which was thirty guys in it. Okay. Also the also the Olympia. You qualified. You also competed at the Olympia. Yeah. So I'm just saying that's the that's actually the biggest two twelve show you've done. I'm talking, no, no, I'm not talking about the actual amount of competitors. Oh, size of, oh, the size yeah. of, the show. yeah, yeah, yeah. So does that, okay. I don't know who's doing the show. Should I ask? I hate asking who's doing it. Is there names? No, about? they posted a list, man. I, I don't, dude, Nick, I don't look at the fucking list because I don't You don't care. look? Hold on. Because dude. I'm, because even if I, if I don't know the guys, I'm going to get fucking anxiety. If I do know the guys, I'm going to start thinking who, who, if I beat them, if they beat me. So I just I have no idea who these people there, are. There. Can you guys see my phone? One second, move it closer. Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. Is that an iPhone three? 
What page no, is that? What, what, what page is that, Nick? I'll go to it. I don't. It's on it. Bodybuilders Without Borders. Just go to the I'm second. It's on IPDPro.com. Or that too. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Everything's on Instagram nowadays. Here, I got it. Bodybuilders Without Borders. Um, there it is. Puerto Rico. There's the open. There's the two twelve. Yeah. There's literally five guys. All yeah, right. man. All right. Let's take a look. But I think registration closes tomorrow or tonight or something. So this is what we got. We got uh, Peter or Peter Peter. Peter Peter. I don't know. To, is <laughs> that Peter? Is that Peter? Peter. Peter. It's Peter. Okay. Is that is yeah, that Peter? Peter. It's no, Peter. It's Peter. It's called. Cool. Let's call him Peter. <laughs> you, you pronounce it Peter. No, no. It's now Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Like guy uh isaiah hawthorne i don't know i don't know these guys robert taylor first not... guy i think used to be a classic physique guy i recognize piotr i know bola old jacks it's the only guy i know that's not okay. the guy that's in it oh wait no he's not in it no here there's boaz Enrique. who's who is that i don't even know who is that guy i don't know should we look these people up i don't know why not, why not? This is why I don't do this. Because see, now you, I'm going to go down a fucking rabbit hole now. What are you idiots? I'm looking at him. I love Ian. Boaz. And as much as you act like you hate me, I know if it came down to it, you'd kill somebody for me. Obviously. Okay. I mean, these guys, yeah. So this guy's going to kill you, guy. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> That's the other, the other, the other guy is not great. This is guy, that Peter? This guy's no. pretty, no, this is Boaz. This, this is, this guy's the best one of the three. This guy's pretty good, but guy. He was plastic, he, this guy? <laughs> no. Pyotr. Oh. Look how little he is. <laughs> oh, he's got a good physique, man. Nah. What do you mean, nah? he's Yeah, I like his wrong. hamstring drop. But guy's hamstring drops better. I'm not saying in comparison to guy. I'm just saying he's got a good physique. Oh. I love me. You could use a little bit bigger, bigger quads. I think his legs are a little small. Yeah. In that picture, they look a little better. Some pictures, they look okay. Some, they look small. Yeah. Yeah, I think he looks pretty balanced. He's got. A good Where's he from? Brazil. Uh, is Brazil. He's Brazil, writing in yeah. Spanish, so yeah, yeah, he's Brazilian. Let's see the. Back. That guy that's actually doing the open from Brazil looks really good. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, like he looks like he could maybe win. Only by look up Piotr. He's the I'm best gonna, one. I'm gonna. Piotr. <laughs> yeah, yo, no. There, second okay. one down. The second one. Or the third one. Shit. Fucking had it there. All right, <laughs> relax. Oh, this guy's good. That's him? Yeah. Yeah, this guy used to be classic, I think. Really? He's, he's filled that frame out pretty good. Well, I think he's I think he's quite short, right? Look at Nick's face. <laughs> <laughs> His legs look good. His chest is big too. Yeah, yeah, he's got good. That looks see. wide too. That's going to be good competition for you, guy. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be, guy. You're going to win. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be. I didn't say you should be worried. I'm saying it's going to be a good competition. Uh, okay. So let's move on to open. All right, screwed. So that show. Look, gonna... William Martin looks insane, in my opinion. Akeem, Akeem's got this show, I think. Akeem's got this show, yeah. Obviously. Um, so are we going to do bets? No, I'm not betting you people. Why? You're, the way you guys bet, total, I'm totally out of it. What are you talking about? There's way too many loopholes when you guys bet. I'm we'll not bet well, okay, we'll make it concrete this time. No loopholes. All right, I got to hear the bet first. Wait, yeah, I, I can't even, if you're asking me about the open, I don't even, I'm, I can't even bet on this because I don't know 95% of these guys. Yes, you do. You know who? Oh, Shaban's doing it. I know. I know. You know, I, know, I, know I know Hassan. Dude, you know everybody on here. Akeem, and I know Akeem. Shaban, has, no, you don't. You know Shaban. Shaban's doing it, bro. Shaban, Shaban. just did Cal California. Oh, that's your guy. And then uh, you know Dorian like Haywood. Shaban. You know Eddie Bracamontes. Oh, I no, I, no, I do not. Jamie Johal. Okay, wait a second. You don't know who Dorian Haywood is? He just did fucking Dude, three, two shows. Look up, look up William real quick though. William looks really good. Yeah, William I Martin. Follow him, I probably don't know him. Dead ass. William Martin's. I don't think this guy's going to be in good enough shape in the back, though. Is it this guy? Yeah. Oh, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, he did uh, Spain or something last year. See, like his glutes, I don't think are quite where they need to be in the hamstrings, but he's got a lot of, he's like fucking 280 or something at this, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. I remember seeing a picture. He was like 290 like a couple weeks ago. I was like, holy fuck, this guy's 290. He was like lean. 
17, 17 days out at 132.3 kilos, 132.3 times. Two oh, I don't, I don't like his stomach. stomach. That was the, that was the knock on him uh, last year too. I think it'll be between Akeem and Shaban. I agree. Shaban looks really good. Did you see his recent update? Yes, that's really, it was really it was good. Fucking really good. No, nope. no, it's S H A A. Shabam. Yeah. Yeah. He looked really, I was very impressed. Go to his tag. Yeah, go to, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> I was about <laughs> to be like, what the fuck am I looking at that you that's, guys Is that it right there? Yeah. Yeah, five days. He looks really good, man. The back shots look really good. His legs don't seem to be separate. I just, I, 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 I was agree with, going to say what Guy said. Like, I, I, and that like really throws me the fuck off when yeah. like he's got no separation in his quads. It's like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not blown away by this back either, man. Oh, dude, see the back lat. Keep going. That looks good. Yeah, I mean, that's good, man. Yeah, but I think a back double is what determines whether your back is good. I agree. Or not. I agree. Right, like you can't. You can't hide your back in a back double. He's not open properly there, but I mean, there's a lot of muscle. He's in good condition. He's fucking dense as shit. I mean, is he going to beat an in shape Akeem? No, but is there's he something? A- Akeem's going to fucking rock this dude. There's something up with like the thickness of the skin. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't. I, seem- I really like the like dense look he has. He just looks like fucking gnarly hard. Yeah, dude. it almost looks like. Remember, like people used to say about Jose Raymond. That he would be so vascular and that it would take away. It from would take body. away the lines. Like maybe yeah. that's what it is because no. he looks like he's in shape, but I don't see the lines in his fucking legs I at think all. He's just, I think he's just like fucking full as a house, is what it is. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Right? Know. You, you, who you who know coaches about, him? Right? Is it Vu? Andrew Vu, right? Yeah, he works with Vu. Yeah. Well, you'll know he'll come in shape because Andrew's guys always come in fucking shape. Uh. There's a lot of thickness to the skin. I don't understand. Like, look at the thickness in his biceps. I think it's just the lighting from the camera here, to be honest. You think it's the lighting? Yeah. Look at yeah. The I agree. Because I don't know, like, the, his skin in California is oh, thin. Like, he looked he really good. The last show, I said the same shit. Can you not scream from the kitchen? Like, I think <laughs> I think it's the, the pictures, man. I think it's just an iPhone. Like, <laughs> Shut up, Dad. No, uh... <laughs> Dad. I, um... I agree. I think you're right, Ian, because... I remember um California. Yeah, I, I do think the lighting is shit. California, his California, his skin was really thin. He looked really yeah, good. Yeah, and he looks like he's in better shape here. I think what it is is with iPhones, like the brightest area tries to like uniform light everything. So it's softening the brightest bit, which is at the top there a bit. Yeah, I think, you know, if I have to be honest though, I think that's where he lost to Patrick Moore. Where? I Separ- think it's the, the separation. Because if the you look at look detail? at these, yeah. look at these two photos, right? Yeah. There's so much detail through arms, shoulders, yeah, chest. Yeah, even though Palmin is thicker, bigger, yeah. denser, he's yeah. not separated. Yeah, and I think, but I think. I'm sorry, thing, I, I had Shabon winning this. Sorry, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying that. It could have gone. I think a lot of people had Shabon winning. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if I had to be, if I have to pretend I'm a judge for a minute, right, and say why Patrick won. When you look at this photo, the difference to me, the biggest difference is the detail. So I'm just saying that could could hurt him again in this lineup. So, okay, we all, okay, are we all, let's see. What's the bet before we start going? I got to hear it first. Okay, Nick, you have to shave your head. No way, it's not happening. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. What does that say? It says, no way, no way. Hold on. It says, but two are missing in the 212. What does that comment say? Very small. The list of oh, down, 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 oh. down, 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 right there. Okay, one sec. Just okay, it's incomplete. Okay, okay. We guys, we can't talk, all talk over each other. Oh, because, because Jeff this, Beckham's doing the open too. As I'm saying it, guys, look, we try not to talk over each other just because the audio is like brutal when we're all just talking over each other. Okay, we'll scroll down. Hurry up. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the bet is before we move on, because I'd like to make Nick shave his head. I'm not shaving my head. Like, there's nothing you can do that'll make me shave my head. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Is this a gentleman's bet then? We're not betting anything? No, that's stupid. Don't do that. Don't do that? Okay, we'll come, we'll come up with – okay, well – I'm competing, so you guys have to bet. It's fair. It's only fair. How about I get to take over 
Nick's Instagram for one week. Oh, that's a fucking great idea. No fucking way. Dude. I can't great I, idea. I can't answer your DMs and I can't post anything bad about it. No, us. I can't I can't do it. I'm just, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a great idea, dude. Shut right? the fuck up, guy. Shave well, your Nick, eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but Nick, you get to you take wouldn't even allow life. your fucking beard to grow, number you one. See how quickly he wiped his mouth. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Look at Ian. Ian's just staying silent because he's already had to like <laughs> shave his beard and grow a mustache. He's like, fuck this. I'm not losing again. All right. Let's just do a fucking... I mean, I'll do anything except shave my fucking eyebrows or head. So, Okay, Ian. Yeah, I got nice eyebrows. That's not happening. Nick. Yeah, you got fancy eyebrows, yeah. You got, <laughs> like, you got like little caterpillars sitting on your fucking forehead. Okay, I got one for Guy. Guy, when you grow your beard back, you have to dye it. Fine, you such a fucking. I, I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna say fine, so I can stop listening to the fucking nonsense. No, of beard I want him to grow. We got to get him to grow. You know, like when guys grow a beard and they like shave like lines in it, like you know, <laughs> like saber tooth has. Like with well, the I was just gonna say, who the fuck am I, saber tooth? I was just really yeah. took the word out of my mouth. He should do that. Okay, we got one for guy. Nick, what are you gonna do? Anything? I don't know. Give me some ideas, and I'll let you know. Nick's getting his ears pierced. Are you going to get your ears pierced? No. Nipple pierced. My dimples pierced? Your nipple. nipple. Your nipple. I get a nipple piercing. No. Your fucking nipple. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? What's you just that? wanted to show us. <laughs> no, that's from something. <laughs> it is. What is that from? Um, Casa de Sistermino. I can't believe how fast I draw a blank. Well, first of all, what is the bet on? The show. On the show. I know, but like top, who's going to win? Top yeah. three. Top three, but you got to pick the winner in the, order the, or no order. <laughs> no, in order, but if the okay, the, yeah, the, you have to pick the winner for sure. All right. Um, fuck. What could it be? Pick something. Don't um, be stupid. Hey, tell Nick he's got to send you a case of his mutant sauce if he loses because that shit's banging. <laughs> That's not a bad bet. You just fucking send it. You'll just buy it and send it. Big deal. No, the mutant even... sauce is fantastic. It's got to do something shitty. Shitty? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick, grow a mohawk. I'm not shaving my head. He's not going to do anything with his hair. Get his legs waxed. Wax your legs. Wax your tank. Wax your taint. <laughs> yeah, but how can I prove that to you? Like, I, want video a I want a video. I'm not video. <laughs> All right, let's go to the let's go to the show. We'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure out the bet after. Uh, okay. Who do we? Who? Uh, Ian. Who do you have winning? Akeem. Akeem. I have Akeem. I'm Team Akeem. Guys, Akeem. So we all have a keen winning. Nick, you have a keen. Yes. Okay. Who do Ian? Who do you have in second? Shabon. Shabon. Yeah. Ian Shabon. Uh, yeah. I want to go to Shabon. Shabon. I was going to say the same thing. This is going to be stupid. We're all going to pick the same shit. <laughs> no, so I, I think I think third place is could be a lot of people. Yeah. Guy, who do you think is second? I was going to say Shaban, and then I was going to honestly have Hassan in third. So there's my third. Okay, one second. You think? Wait, I got to pick my second. That's Eddie, not, I think it's not set in stone. Eddie, Dorian, Theo, Hassan. Andre Presti looks good. I'm going to go Hassan for second. I'm I just don't feel like Hassan's in shape, man. I think he's better this time. His glutes still aren't in, though. I'm going to take That's a not song. my final pick yet, so let's all And he's got up. no hammies. Okay, what's... Uh, Ian, who do you have in third? Mm. <sighs> wonder if everybody has their hair pulled down the floor. Some of these other guys that we don't know are actually really good. I should bring some of them up. I mean, all these guys are very close, like Eddie, Jamie, Dorian. I didn't like the way Eddie looked at the last show, though. This guy no, looks pretty I, good. I don't I'm think great. Eddie will be third, but I think he's 
I don't think he's in good enough shape. Oh, he looks good. Yeah, he looks good. Andre Muzi, I think he did. Uh, yeah, he look, at those, last look at those legs. He's not going to be Mother and Joseph. Yeah, I don't know what his condition is like right now, but yeah, this looks right. this, this looks recent, maybe. I know there could be many shocks in this show that we just don't even know about. That's what I'm saying. Like, this, some of them we're not I've considering. Competed, I've competed against Muzi, up against this guy a couple times. Is he good? He's all right. Yeah, I mean, he's he's usually like in the top six or seven. Really? But his conditioning's not all like always quite there. But he's getting better and better, man. Like every time I see, he's getting more course. muscular. But I don't know if his conditioning is improving. On yeah, I don't know. Like you're right. I don't know what his conditioning's gonna be like. But this is a great shot. Like look at the I'm gonna really go, good shot. I'm gonna go with uh, Will, William Martin's for third. Who's William Martin's? Did we look at him already? Yeah, the big guy. Oh, that was the big guy we looked at. Okay. So you have William Martin's for third. Yeah. Guy, pull up William Martin, wherever the fuck it is. One second. I just want to see who. It doesn't is. look that good, man. This is under your stomach, anyway. So, is this Puerto Rico show in the Bahamas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So they're not having it in Puerto Rico. No. No. This is William Martins. I did, I think his stomach's going to be an issue for him. He looks pretty good in this front double, man. Now, yeah, but him, when he goes look, to the look side... That, look at that most muscular. In that video, he hits a side try. Go back. That. It looks really bad. Watch, watch, watch. He keeps the stomach in, though. Yeah, but like just that... I don't know. Right there, you look at it. I don't think that's bad. He's got a lot of muscle, though. He, he's going to be big next to these guys. That He's going to be like 5'11", 280 on stage. I don't think that's bad, man. It's not perfect, but I don't think that's bad. I think people are... Um... I think he's going to be overwhelming the size for a lot of these smaller guys, and I, I think he'll be... Is he tall? He must oh, be, because, I mean, at his three-week out or two-week out photos, he was 291. Yeah. Okay. All right. He looks like he'd smoke Nick Walker. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> These are at 290. <laughs> That's insane, 290. He's got good shape, man. He's got good shape. He's got a good vacuum here. Quads fucking pop off the hip nicely. Like, hamstrings, good good drop to the hamstring. I'd wake up the day of the show if I was him and eat like a bird. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. fucking pick all day like a bird. I just keep my stomach. Explain, explain, explain to people watching why you said that guy. Because I don't think even – he's so full, he doesn't need a lot of food. And I think if he eats too much the day of the show, he's going to have a trouble controlling his stomach. And I think he's going to be full regardless if he's eating a lot of food or not because he just has that much dense muscle. So for him just picking small things throughout the day, like, like whether it be like maybe some granola here and there or a rice cake with some peanut butter, I think that would benefit him more than doing meals because I think the doing full meals – and the percentage of how bad he can look with his stomach compared to if he wasn't as full and just picked throughout the day and keeping his stomach in control, I think that would benefit him way more. Agreed. Okay. So – You should be carved up like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then eating almost nothing on Saturday. Exa ex yeah, exactly. So who are you taking for third, guy? How does Dorian look? Can we go to Hassan? I haven't seen a fucking anything on him. This is his most recent one. It was like a week ago, I think. Three days ago. His legs actually look like... I'm telling you, he's getting harder. Yeah, but we... That that doesn't, that's, that's not a good shot. No. Yeah. What are you talking about? Of course it was. Bro, no, it was that, no, it was not. What the it's fuck? His, that was his, shitty, bro. That was, his leg was horrible in that shot. Wait a minute. Just, what about this looks horrible? Tell me what. No, no. When he, no, no, no. When he turns his fucking leg out, Okay, on one sec. Not Tell okay, right. Okay. Tell me why that looks horrible. There's nothing impressive there. What he's got feathered quads. What are you talking about? He's got okay, but where's the rest? He's got no lines going up the rest of his leg, bro. Uh, I mean it's not his it's not teardrop it's not. line is, is this big. My teardrop line goes from my kneecap up to my fucking schmeckle. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a po yeah, I don't know, dude. His legs are and, and that and in that angle, 
the way he's posing it because he's locking it out rather than being on the ball of his foot. If he was on the ball of his foot, his outer sweep would look a lot bigger. And so would his teardrop. He's doing yeah, it there. He's getting the cross rations in his quad. His quad looks half the size it normally does in that Yeah, shot. but he's doing yeah. both. He's doing both. He showed it the way you wanted to show it. Now I'm just not impressed with him, mate. Really? This is where he loses the ground, though. Like, he, even here, like, look at his glutes and hams. Like, that's nothing. But that's, that's 10 weeks out, yeah. He won't – he's – how many days out is this? He won't even wear trunks. Hey, I don't wear trunks, asshole. No, but you show your ass. I don't know. I think this I like is – huh? I guess <laughs> I'm, I'm giving him more credit than you guys are. These you know, look, look at his glutes, man. You can tell that there's no lines in those under that. I can see the glutes. You're right about the glutes, but I feel like his hamstrings are more corded than they were at the last show. A hundred percent. No. Show, like he's getting better show to show, but I, I still don't think it'll be good enough. When you show up on stage without strided glutes in this day and age, it just doesn't fly. Uh, <laughs> if you never really had shredded glutes, they don't really – like Dennis Wolf never had peeled glutes. Yeah, but that was also 10 years ago. That wouldn't fly the same anymore. I don't know if that's true, man. They still cared about shredded glutes 10 years ago. I didn't say they didn't care about it. No, Ian Ian said they cared about it more now. And I'm like, they cared like about even it. Even Jay, like Jay was peeled, but Jay never had like peeled glutes. Yeah, but Hassan's are like always considerably behind. Yeah, I agree with that. And I'll agree with that too. <laughs> I'm not going to say he's the in the best condition of the show or anything. I'm just saying this yeah. leg to me looks, the skin looks thinner than it did in California. Yeah, I'll say this is his best look by far that I've oh, seen. I agree. The entire I year. Awesome. But when we're talking about a top three of the show here where there's guys in better shape, I, I can't see it. Like the guy you <laughs> showed me prior to this, the freak, not, 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 not Martins, the other guy. Uh, uh, Shabon, Moody. Shabon. Oh, no, Moody, Moody. Yeah, Moody, yeah. I think he would fucking, he, he would, he, he would be Hassan. No. Who? On conditioning, on conditioning, but not physique. Who? In my opinion. The Brad. last. Oh, um, this guy. Oh, okay. This guy. I, I agree, actually. <clears throat> wow. I mean, in this photo that's taken with perfect lighting, yeah, he looks incredible. But all right, go to another. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is better than Hassan's physique, personally. Okay. Go to Dorian Haywood real quick. You're right. that the, I'll, that shot's not. I feel like he's getting better show to show too, actually. Okay. Where is a re there's no recents, I don't think. Is he just guest posing there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was guest posing. I might not be posting anything. His midsection looks better. A lot better, yeah. I mean, this is this is a good shot, but his weak area is the outer sweep of his quads, and it's this cut photo's kind of hiding it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like there you can see oh yeah, how flat it is compared to his mm -hmm. upper body. Is there an area on your guy's body? Like I was actually having this conversation with a buddy yesterday in the gym. And uh, we were talking about like flat versus watery versus full versus, you know, whatever. And uh, I was like, hey, all I have to do backstage to see if I'm on. I'm like, if I, I can drop my pants, <laughs> with, obviously trunks on. I can tell just by the way my quads look if I'm on or I'm not. Like, or if I'm like flat or I'm not, like, I, that's my tall tell sign is yeah, my, the, my, my chest, the lines in my legs. Mine's my, I'd say my chest too, actually. Yeah. My cheeseburger tits. Once, once my fucking lines are completely, that's what we call them. Cheeseburger tits. What? When you have, <laughs> when you have like that connection from your nipple all the way around, cause you're too fat. That's what's called a cheeseburger tit. <laughs> so, <Bro. laughs> no, it is so. What do you mean it's gross? You don't get, the, well, everybody, I think it's weird. I think a lot of Middle Eastern guys get it, but, you know, who guys. Got the, who has got the Big Mac tits? Yeah, I got the big, so, yeah. But when I get lean, I know when I'm ready for a show because it's completely, like, dug out here. So, that's my spot, but. I don't have cheeseburger tits. I'm trying to think of it. What it, I'm thinking, like, I th I'm thinking of, like, old men. When they get older, they have that, like, yeah. that, like line of skin right here. Well, if you saw, like, a, a chubbier guy with, like, it, fat pecs. Are you going to Google fat pecs? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, man. You're going to regret that. You're going to regret that big time. Here, I'll show I you. It's be the worst Google search ever. <laughs> Notice how he typed in fat pecs, and he instead of fat male pecs. showing his screen first, because <laughs> he, 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 he knew if he typed in fat, 
the amount of things that came after fat in his Google search <laughs> is going to be just so, astonishing. This is an extreme version of fat male pecs. <laughs> yeah, that's just a fucking fat guy. Like this? See how it connects here? No, but like it, it's a. Yeah, we are totally looking at fat dudes' tits right now. <laughs> yeah, but hold on, yo! But if you go, wait, go to his, go go to that last picture. You've never been that fat. I'm no, not like, saying I've been that. Fat. I'm saying like like that. His like his. I'm, t- I'm just trying to show like this fat right here that's sitting here. Oh, you're down. No, down on the right side. Far right. <laughs> There. No, that's a breast. That's different. That's a tit, boy. <laughs> first one. First, yeah. one. first one on the left there. Yeah. Yeah, like this fat right here. This yeah, this yeah. this is the fat I'm talking about in the armpit area. Go back to the guy, the fat guy. This guy? <laughs> Look at his armor tan. Look at his tan arms. <laughs> okay, fuck He's off. Got no tan arms. They're an idiot. <laughs> Very small nipples. Okay, anyway, we we're talking about Dorian Haywood. Uh let's go back to the show. So, I'm gonna uh, okay, who do you got third, guy? Are you going to pick somebody? Go with Mootsy. Be different. Yeah, you seem to think he's good. I did, and then I then Fuad pulled up picture, some pictures, and I was like, mm. go to Shaban again. Shaban. You have Shaban in second already. I know, I, I know what I have. All right. Well, Fuck, he looks good there. Yeah, he looks fucking crazy there. Yeah. Yeah. I what if Shabon won? He beat Ian like two years ago or three years ago. I mean, really, what if he won? Oh, what if he won? I thought you said, what has he won? No. I don't think he could beat Akeem, man. Akeem looks fucking crazy right now. I'm going to say Hassan for third. And I, it's, it's just because I like him. Where's those photos I saw of him? Somebody, maybe they're tagged photos. Oh, um, our, um, look at this fucking shit. Are you going to the mall today? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I, I wasn't planning on it. No, I was no, I'm not going to the mall today. Who had caught, did somebody, anybody catch on to it? I caught it. Yeah. Thank Jesus okay. Christ. Listen, look how good he looks. His I'm side, not saying he doesn't look good. His side leg is always very impressive. But what matters is how he looks on stage. Yeah, well, we're all gonna. We're just assuming that he's gonna carry this over. No, he looks like, fantastic. His leg, his side of his leg, looks like a horse standing in a field. It's, okay, wait. Sorry to go go back though. Yeah. The discrepancy in detail and conditioning, like from his side leg to then look at his arm and delt and chest. There's almost no detail there. Whatsoever. I know. I know. It's crazy. His chest is not. I find his chest to be not bad. He's just like here. You can see some. It's like it's, it's the so shoulder weird. and the the shoulder and the arms though. And no, I agree with you. The chest too, but. It's more the shoulder and the arms that just don't carry the, and then also the back is the biggest part. Yeah. Like if the rest of his body had the same detail as his legs, it would be insane. Fuck yeah, you would. Look at all these tags of the same shot. I'm looking for something else here. Is there some other shot? It's pretty cool. Okay, so oh, guy, you still haven't given me a third. I did, Hassan. You said Hassan. Watch the tape back. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, who do you have in third? Like I honestly want to say it sound too because that's probably what it's going to be, but I don't want to be the same here. Look at you, fucking Snapdragon, skipping the two twelve bets. <laughs> must be nice. There's only like four people in it. That's fine. I don't give a fuck if there's fucking three people. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I'll, I'll sit here and pack a dip and wait for the two twelve bets. Nick, third place. Um, I'm going to take Shaban in third. Who the fuck you got in second? Hassan. Really? Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, fuck that. Then I'm going to say Dorian Haywood for third down. Haywood. Holy shit. Somebody's. As getting... long as he doesn't uh... shake. As long as he doesn't shake every pose and scream boom every pose he does too. <laughs> Wait, who? Who? Dorian, Dorian Haywood. Haywood. Let me see. Go I stood next to this guy in New York. Every pose, he's like, boom. <laughs> Go to his page. He's such an intense guy, man. He's just, oh, I, I love it, but I'm like, all right, dude, relax. Yeah, so is this guy? Yeah, this guy. He's oh, just, he, he he booms you? He's just intense he, on stage. He booms every pose. He's just, he seems really enthusiastic on stage. I, hey, I love it. Yeah, look at that face right there. That's fucking intensity. That's that's, <laughs> that's I'm not like, brown face. That's like front line of a yeah. fucking war. You're yeah. you, 
Like that's he's that's, ready. He's ready for battle, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna fucking kill you, Nick. That's from the back. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have a bad physique. No, he doesn't. At okay. all. Well, you got him in third. Obviously, he doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So third, and then. Uh, okay, so we all have our top three. Is anyone the same? Just in case, no. Um, Ian, who do you have? Ian, you're Akeem, Shaban, and Martins. Yes. I'm I'm Akeem Hassan Shaban. Yep. Akeem Hassan. Nick Shaban. Nick is Akeem Shaban Haywood. Yep. Guy is Akeem Shaban Hassan. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, guy is sexy, tall, and handsome. I think I want to change mine. No. Nope. No, you can't. Oh, no, no. I said. Guy said we could change. He said yeah, we're we just talking. Change. He's not locked in yet until I fucking so say. Written, so it is done. You can't change it. No. <laughs> Until I go, See, like these that. guys are awful. That's why I, I do that. I think I might have Jamie Joe Hall in third. Okay, then change. Who the fuck is Jamie Joe Hall? You Jamie the Giant. Joe Hall is? Oh, oh shit! I forgot about him. Let me see him. Look at you. I got him in third. Look at oh, all boy, you motherfuckers want to change. I don't know these guys. He's like six six. Oh, like, doesn't Cheeto work with him? No, he works with JP. No, he works with uh, JP. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put him in third. I'm sorry, Dorian. In what the dunk contest? <laughs> I like him. <laughs> dunk contest. He's certainly winning a dunk contest. That's for sure. <laughs> he doesn't even have to jump. Let's see. This is just the contest thing. I know, but didn't he? Did he? I thought there was some posing in it. Oh, he. No, there's no posing. He clickbaited me. I think this is a posing video. What are you doing? Where? This one? Right right there, right there. This one. No, well, no, that wasn't the one, but it looks posing. You're taking him for third? I don't know, maybe not. I think he's still <laughs> he's still too weak from the back, but yeah, yeah. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my shit here. What did you say, guy? I said, you know, you want to win bets. You should have just shut your fucking mouth just then. No, no, it's okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm confident. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Look at what he tries to do to you, Nick. I still, you know, I'm not see sure. it, buddy. Look at his back. Yeah, it's no. Fuad, would you too, oh, he didn't fill it out properly yet. Fuad, that man. looks good, though. That's a good yeah. pose, man. Yeah, guy, what's up? Would he beat you? Would he beat me? Yeah. At my best? No. Would, would Jamie yeah. the Giant beat you? Right now? No, at your all time best. No. Okay. <laughs> trying to start trouble <laughs> <laughs> it just you always say that to, to nick and everybody else so i'm just trying to see if you would answer the questions well why wouldn't i i just wanted to see no i mean maybe maybe one day when he gets bigger he's got really good structure i just like he's got to fill it out more before i think he could beat me he's still a little too thin yeah yeah if he filled this frame out a little more yeah he'd fucking crush a lot of people he needs to be like, he needs to be like 330 on stage yeah like look how look how perfect that fucking that's a great is. yeah that's great he Good just quad, small waist it just needs it just needs more muscle and once he does put on more muscle like fuck yeah i could easily be happy saying he, he would beat me like it's really incredible for a guy that tall to have legs like that yeah it's crazy actually you don't ever see guys six six with fucking I good quads. this guy in person what he looks like i've never met him he's gotta be a fucking freak uh, okay, so where are we at here? We we lost our. Okay. No, we got we got our top threes done. Yeah, we're good. We're not doing four and five. No, no. I think we should do four and five. I no, think we should just do top three. three. Yeah, we all have different top threes, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's insane. Top five. What the fuck? You're insane. You're, this is insanity. I can pick two more though. Whatever. Pick two more. Ian. Come on. Okay, Quick. I'm gonna put Hassan in fourth. Hassan fourth. Oh, Muzi and. Five. That's what I would have. Muzi five. And Jamie in fifth. Jamie fifth. See, I want to go Hassan fourth. And the other guy we looked at is fifth. Who was that? Martins. Uh, Martins. No, no, no. The other guy. Muzi? Oh, Muzi. Muzi, yeah. Okay. You guys are fucking way off. What You're way mean? off. <laughs> Dude, you have, Haywood be you have Haywood beating Hassan. Haywood I had... Haywood hasn't beat Hassan at three shows, and, yeah. Hassan, and Hassan looks better this time. Yeah, well, fucking um, 
you know, Ian picked Justin over me as a safe bet. Look how that turned out. So <laughs> <laughs> fucking got me there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my four, my my four. I'm gonna take um I'm gonna take Martin's four and I'm gonna take uh Joe Hall a fifth. Jason Joe you're, you're pretty close to me. Jamie Joe Hall. Jason Joe Hall? Yeah, me and me and Ian are actually we're now we're a little bit mixed up. Okay, guy, what do you got for four and five? Uh, I'm gonna go with. You don't even know these guys. Do you want to? You want me to just pick for you? <laughs> yeah, put Rob, Robin Strand will be fourth. Put that, and then we'll put Theo Legary for fifth. There you go. That sounds like a horrible decision. That's you guys. Camilo <laughs> Diaz in fourth. <laughs> yeah. let's, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. Let's, let's go, with my Italian brothers. Muzi. Yeah. Presti. Who do you got? Presti over Muzi or Muzi over Presti? Uh, Presti's pretty good too. Have you pulled up Muzi. Presti? Pull him up. I did pull up yeah. Presti. Muzi's a lot better. Muzi, you didn't pull him up. Uh, Muzi, I Muzi. did pull. I did pull up Presti. I'll pull him up Muzi again. Muzi and Presti. <clears throat> this is Presti. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. You of my, course my, you clicked my, on the fucking. My, fa- my favorite. My favorite shot. An old fucking butt shot. Does everyone <laughs> post at least one butt shot in their life? Not me. I've never done it. I did. I, thought it, about I, it. A, I did it once, but I put a slice of pizza in. Perfectly <laughs> in that's like that's. Then no, you have like it looked like posing trunks. He's in good shape. I 100 percent thought about it. Look, this looks good, man. This is good. Go back to that front double. I don't agree. That's I mean, I mean, shot. I mean, it's good, but I don't think it's. He's in good condition. Condition wise, yeah. I just feel like he's a little thin through the arms and legs. Like I don't think it's going to well, matter. I, I agree. I've competed with him a couple times, but. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. He just he needs to fill it. I don't place. look at those hammies. I don't see it. Yeah, it needs to be filled out. Yeah, legs, chest is really good. Look at that chest. Chest is good. Nice yeah. chest. Nice full chest. Yeah, really good chest. I like his tattoo though. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? Should I comp- finish this onto my hand? Should I do my hand? Yeah, do it. It could be cool. Cause like it's like it's already like you know what I mean. Might as well just just finish it. it. Yeah. Are you ever gonna have a real job? What? No, obviously not. <laughs> he looks like I'm crazy. No. He said, what? <laughs> Man, what the fuck am I going to do for a real job? By the time I'm going to be retired from bodybuilding, I'll have zero job skills. What kind of fucking job am I going to get? You won't be able to function. What do you think you're going to do? I won't be able to move, bro. You think you're going to retire and just fish for the rest of your life? You're going to get a job. No, but I'm going to be working in the fitness industry or coaching or something re- related that doesn't yeah. matter about having tattoos on my hand, you know? Yeah, I would do it. I think they're cool. Like, I see Seth. Seth nice. has, another one. Seth's Stop. got his hand done. Frank's got his hand done. They look cool. Yeah. I think yeah. I might finish it. Just do this right up onto the hand. Yeah. What are you gonna get? I don't know. What's on your forearm? I don't know. <laughs> oh, why so? Why so angry? Who? <laughs> you? No, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't say I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. Stop asking me. <laughs> I'm pensive. I'm pensive. I'm thinking what I should do. Um. By the way, I don't think a spider is an animal. Well, it's an arachnid. It's an insect. It's an insect. It's an insect. I just think you should. I, think, I, I just think you should apologize to the guy. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I stand by what I said. But it's well, not. You, an you think a spider is an animal? No. Yeah. First of all, he said, he said, it's not a mammal. It's Spider Man. No, Ian said uh, the last podcast we did. Remember, this guy, argument's stupid already. The guy was like, uh, said something about a spider not being an animal, uh, um, and Ian was like, "What does that say?" Let me see. Spiders yeah. are not insects. Spiders are a class of animals known as arachnids. Fucker. <laughs> First of all, are you giving me the finger? Because I didn't say oh, shit. Fuad. I'm saying the fuad because I'm right. I was, when I it's said not that, a, it's, it's a class of animal known as an arachnid. Does that mean it's an animal? I guess. Yeah. It's, it's not like, an insect. So now, now we've both been, we've both been told to fuck off by Ian about about <laughs> about spiders. <laughs> and I was I was referring to the Spider Man. Why are you? Oh, I know, his, I know why are you licking his balls? Who? You? Why are you he licking his balls? Words in my mouth. I'm not. I didn't say that. You said, said it on the last podcast. I didn't say balls. it scientifically. I was talking about the fucking character. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you give me shit about saying I'm Spider Man. That's I zero. will fuck all of like you up. You're a. I'm gonna get a shirt and it says ball liquor now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Taint, the taint taster taint taster okay, so now, all right we have our places are we betting anything on this or is bullshit <laughs> well we picked our place so 
Are we all doing different bets or it's all one bet here? You got to stop oh, being a fucking God. pussy and take a fucking bet for once in your life. I don't like these bets. Why? You look good with the shaved head. Huh? Yeah, but I... It, listen, Nick, this hair is meaningful now. Look at me. I look like a fucking light bulb. Well, you look, you no, do, you look like you a look fucking like penis. penis. You do look like a light bulb. No, Nick, you look good with a shaved head. What's the difference? Yeah, but I like my hair. Who gives a fuck? The point of the bet is to fucking lose something you like, you jerk. And my hair is not one of them. Have you seen what Paul looks like with a mustache? It's horrible. He looks like a fucking straight-up pedophile. And he still did it. I'll grow my beard again. Yeah, but you got to actually keep it this time. Like, you got to grow it like this. No, he's got to do the mustache. He's got to do the mustache only. No, no, I want to see Nick with a beard like this. Can you imagine his fucking mutant ass walking around with just a mustache? How ridiculous he would look? I, I, I wouldn't get any more. I feel like kids stay away from him. That dude's a fucking creep. I'm, I'm all for Nick doing the beard, but yeah. it's, but it's got to be like long, like, like it's got to be at least this long. For how long? Well, whatever it takes to grow this length. Oh, you're gonna grow it that length and love it. Grow it till the Olympia. Yeah. Six weeks minimum. Okay, I like I like Ian's pick. Six weeks? That's nothing. Bro, I could grow fucking the Jesus beard in six I weeks. I know, but the last time he tried to grow a beard, ball hair in six it didn't, weeks. yeah, it's like it looked like pubes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll we'll determine then. We'll we'll tell him when he can shave it. Are you good with that, Nick? Okay, deal. Bet. It's gotta be significant though. You can't just fucking get rid of it. All right, bet. And the punishment, if you if you shave it, you have to shave your head. Because <laughs> <laughs> he knows oh, then, gonna... <laughs> then he's got to get the nipple ring. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's bullshit. Well, you got to have some punishment for shaving you can, your beard too you, early. You, 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 that's not a punishment. I got to shave my head and get a nipple ring. You can just take the fucking nipple ring out. That's easy. He's probably worried about the pain of getting the actual piercing. Oh, it's not bad at all. It doesn't hurt. Do you know. I've had my nipples pierced like fucking 25 times. We both had our nipples really? pierced. Yeah. yeah. I used to... Oh. It doesn't hurt at all, man. Oh. Like, I used to play football when I was young, so I would get them and then take them out during football season and healed. I'd get it done again. So I've had them done like five, six times each. Well? Yeah. Oh. I had my first one done when I was like 13. My nippies. All right, I'll grow the beard. All right, okay. he's going to grow a beard. Ian, you're going to do what? Shave your head? Yes. He's not going to shave it. No, There's see, no Ian's got nice hair, man. He can't He's shave never going to part with his hair. There's no way. There's no way. If, if I end up having to have a bald head for a show, I'll be very upset. Uh, you got to get you got to get the crooked part of your ear fucking pierced. <laughs> I have it pierced. <laughs> with something heavy, so it pulls it down even further. It's pierced. I already have it pierced. <laughs> At the top? Yeah, I could get an ear and put it in right now. No. Okay, well, we should get this part pierced so that it pulls down your ear no, down. No, I do have this pierced right up here. Yeah, but no, you got to put, yeah, like put a little, something heavy in it. Like a chain and add some weight to it. So it just, do you still have your nipple pierced? No, I took them. The last time I had them in was probably like 2008 or nine. Oh, it's 2020. Yeah, it's like 10 years ago. Fuck. All right, let's do some questions. We'll come back to it. I gotta get, see. I just gotta make it through the awkward state of the beer. That's where I get my anxiety is fucking through the roof about what the bet's gonna be. Now we gotta come back to it. What do you mean? My heart's racing about what these bets are gonna be. What what my punishment's gonna be? Well, I don't be. even know what to do to you anymore. You're, 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 you're gonna die the beard. You gotta dye the beard. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I was yeah. waiting for somebody to say nipple ring. So guys gotta dye the beard. Nick's gotta grow a beard. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Uh, Ian, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I can do something funny with my facial hair. I can grow facial hair. Your can I control your Instagram for a week? Not a whole week. Maybe a day. He's on board, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. That's like a day. I'll give it to you for a that day. That should be the bet across the board for everybody for this one. The loser gets the, the other guy to take over their Instagram for 24 hours. No. Just be the bet. It's got to be three days. No, That's a long time, man. No. What are you fucking high? What? Three days. One day. I'll stick with the beard. I'll stick with the beard. You can do enough in a day. I'll give you a day. I'm gonna take over Fuaz and unfollow everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, all his posts or block everybody. Just, just block start deleting all his pictures. 
He's going to come back. His entire page is going to have a thousand photos of just all of me posing. That's hard. <laughs> okay. Let's just, we'll just keep it to the beard stuff. So I'll, I'll do something with my beard. We'll figure that out. Who had, you got to do something with yours. Guys, you got to dye your beard black. You got to dye your beard black. Me? I Jet, already Jet black. Ian, Ian, Ian. 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 Oh, I'll dye my black. Sure. Ian. Ooh, you got to dye your beard red. No, oh. no, blonde. Blonde. <laughs> blonde. No, he's got to do the hottie. Blonde, blonde. Just blonde the here. Hottie. Blonde. The hottie. Uh, Ian, oh. you know the hottie? Yeah. He bleached his ass. Yeah, you got to do the hottie. Okay, if we all do it, I'll do it. Well, my face is already fucking We're all not all going to lose. No, no, you got to dye gonna it. It's going to take me a while to get to that level. Dye it an opposite color so that it sticks okay. out. I'll dye mm -hmm. black. I don't care. That's good. Yeah. Mine's already black. No, you have to dye it a contrasting color. Because yeah, but see, by the time I get to that length, it's going to be a long time. That's the point, you fucking jackaloon. Yeah, but he's got a, a shows this weekend. Like, what is he going to diet in like eight weeks? Uh, okay, can we, can we just let's just move on. We'll come, back, <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back to it. Okay, nice. let's answer some questions. Fucking killing me, man. Um, make it good. There's no good ones. Shit. How do you get on? Uh. Uh, well, fucking you, sweating, man. Jesus who, Christ. who in the group do you trust the most? Oh, uh, guy. Am I the only one going to fucking answer here? No, I just what I'm thinking. Oh. It was. I, mean, uh, I better choose fucking Paul. It was well, yeah. I guess it's easy for me. I wasn't. I was thinking if Paul's excluded because oh. that's the obvious answer, right? Are oh, we doing uh, the four here? No, we're talking to everybody on the podcast, but for me, Paul's Well, I'll He's never so trust who He exposes information on podcasts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'll never trust Nick. I'll never trust Nick because he backs it up once I expose yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could have easily saved that whole thing just by saying, nah, I heard you're wrong, man. Whatever, Instead, man. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um Guy, who do you trust the most on the podcast? I would have to say from past experiences, uh, I'd have to say Nick. Yes. You just you guys have to say that every time because you have to pick each other. This is bullshit that you guys do. No, well, me, no. me and Guy have a bond. I, have a, I mean, Nick have a pass, so I, I trust him. Yeah. What kind of pass? What have you done that makes you trust him? What is it? This is where the trust comes in. He's been don't in, worry about it. He's been in my fucking house. So I don't, and people that I don't trust do not come into my house. So if I walk into your house, then you can trust me more. You can than get me. the fuck out. <laughs> you walked in, I'd be fucking like, you get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys are going to bum each other. Ian. I would, I, I would say, I would say you're, you're, you're very, very close second. Okay. I'll take that, Ian. I know, I know. But you'll never be first. It's okay. <laughs> I'll, pick <two. laughs> I'll, pick I'll pick Fuad. Thank you, Ian. Um, Are you picking Fuad? If it's not Paul, I think I have to say Ben. Or yeah. and then and Ben. Then, yeah, me and Ben talk a lot. He knows a lot of shit about me. I can see that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, ben, it is. A guy or anyone on the chat. I'm a 68 year old bodybuilder and planning on doing a show this year. If the show is in October. <laughs> <laughs> guy or anyone on this chat. I'm 68 years old. They only want Guy's opinion for old men. Why? why? It's like I'm an old man. A lot of, guy a lot of these. Sense. A lot of these are directed at Guy, actually. <laughs> Uh, That's so funny. 60 year bodybuilder planning on doing a show this year. If the show is in October, how far should I start prepping? I'm currently now. five eight and oh, one. Whoa, nine. this is Guy's question. Let him answer it. Sorry. First show, 16 weeks. It's my that's my go-to for first time people. Okay. For 68 year old men like yourself, that's what you do. Yeah. Guy, yeah. As, a, <laughs> as as a shorter guy, did you find it easier to be easier or harder to be competitive as a bodybuilder when you first started competing? As you as you what when you first started compared to Ian, for example? Oh, what? I'm just is this, a, is this another question or like it's saying? another question? It says, Guy, as a shorter guy, did you find it easier or harder to be competitive as Whoa. a bodybuilder when you first started compared to Ian, for example? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. No, I get it. Like, did I have less trouble? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I'm like the tall guy around here, you know? I wouldn't say I had trouble because when you're coming up, there's class, there's classes. So I was, yeah. I'm five, five and a half and I competed as a fucking smaller. light heavy with Yeah. You know, I still hung in there as far as size wise with the guys in my class. And then he turned pro and did 212, which they're all fucking short too. So yeah. Yeah. Did you I ever compete 202? Yeah. yeah. Ian, is it okay to use Anavar on training days if you know during your cycle there will be one week where you'll be drinking moderately for a few days out of that week. Sure. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't sure. care. Do. I, don't I, care don't what, sure. I don't give a fuck what you do. I mean, why? Uh, fucking do it. 40 milligrams of Anabar and you fucking drink a couple days, you'll be fine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Ian, settle it once and for all what genetics and bodybuilding really means. It's a it's such a broad statement, yeah. right? Because people like, are I don't like know, your genetics to your affinity to build muscle, your genetic structure. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, someone like Chris Bumstead doesn't necessarily have the best muscle building genetics, but obviously has superior structural genetics. So, I mean, like, there's yeah. different aspects to this, you know. That's like, level for this shit. And I think that's what and I think that's what people get confused because people use genetics as a broad statement, and it's not it can be very specific. Because yeah. some people like like you, for example, Ian genetically is leaner than other guys or gets leaner than other guys a lot easy a lot more easily yeah that's a genetic component or like nick for example is genetically fucking going to be bigger than most guys he has an yeah. easier time putting on muscle or like we were just looking at a guy like jamie joe hall obviously has a nice structure so it's like yeah you know. or there's a structure aspect like you said about jamie or or chris so yeah your genetics can be a number of factors i think when you when it comes to like a mr olympia it's that's the person with the the, the tops across the board right they have good genetics for conditioning, for muscularity, for structure, and, and they, have kind of every box. Yeah. yeah, and then they add the work ethic in, obviously. So, yeah, I don't think it's a – when you say settle it once and for all, it's kind of a weird way to put it because there's not really a one answer to the question. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see. To the guys with spouses and girlfriends – who? oh, we already did this one. Okay. Actually, I didn't do it with you guys. Who is a celebrity – what are you idiots doing? He, Nick, I'm like, I feel like I'm the teacher in a class and I like look up. Nick he goes, wasn't paying attention and he's like waving his water bottle. I just started laughing at him because he wasn't paying attention. And he just was like, like idiot. <laughs> who is a celebrity you would leave your, your girlfriend for? You guys don't even have fucking girlfriends. So Jennifer Aniston. Really? That's your yeah. celebrity crush? I love her. Sophia Bush. Who? Sophia Bush. Who's Sophia Bush? Oh, That's she's a good one. Uh, She's from. Uh, yeah. Oh, I would kill. I would kill all three of you. What the fuck? What, what's the show she's from again? Chicago PD. All three of you be dead. I would kill all three of you. He all says. three of you be dead. That's a solid choice. She's from I an older. She's from an old show. What show she's originally from? Are you serious right now? What? Show your know. screen. I'm what? gonna show. I'm gonna show my screen. I don't One know. Tree Hill. She's from One Tree Hill, right? Yeah. yeah. Guy, what are you drinking in that Starbucks? Um. Two shots of espresso, iced coffee, a little bit of half and half, and two Splenda. Yeah. I, I have to put half and half in it, or my fucking acid reflux just goes berserk. What's half and half? Is this the this is the girl? Yeah, yeah. that's Sophia Bush. I love Sophia Bush. That's that's like you kill all three of us for this? For, for this. Damn. Talk about an insult. Well, I'm just saying, like, this is your this I kill all three of you for this. Uh, look how he picks like the weirdest picture of somebody. It's, it's a fucking, they're all the same. This is not I'm sorry, I wouldn't kill you for this. Go to the one in the red. Look, the, the brown one. Yeah. Really? It's like I saw this girl at the grocery store yesterday. Like, seriously? Go to the one with the red. <laughs> oh, this one. So the one that's photoshopped to all fucking hell. <laughs> Here, look, this is like. Yeah, that's, that's a nice dude. smile, Fulad. It's fine, dude. I I find her sexy as fuck. This fucking girl, Fulad, like, that is this, a nice smile. This girl looks like my sister, for fuck's sakes. What are you talking God, about? Damn, fucking, you know, like, all right, the nine seven three. Fuck. <laughs> like, you're like, oh. your number again, champ. Actually, wait. We yeah, anybody else? My cell phone would just bring Ben on. He can leak it again. Why? What happened with your number? I didn't say anything about your number. No, when Ben leaked it. Oh. All right. Well, that's a mediocre fucking. Who's oh, your celebrity crush there, fucking tough guy? I don't even have one off the top of my head. I'm just saying it's a, he's not he's not allowed to say I let, I said no, I said I said Oprah. That was my pick last week. Yeah, you said Oprah. Oprah. Yeah, I like Ian, Oprah. Ian, I know I know Ian always fucking give me a goddamn decent fucking name. Yeah, yeah I got go ahead. I got uh what, what's the girl I like, babe? 
You don't even know the name? Name again? Emily Blunt. Em, uh, Emily Blunt. That's a good one. Okay. That's my that's my wholesome wholesome wifey like yeah. You know who's the close second? Why does it why does it have to be wholesome though? I just like her. I think she's cute. Oh. Why does her name have to end in pot? It's, it's blunt. Blunt, blunt. blunt. Okay, here we go. Yeah, she's so cute. That's a great pick. <laughs> God. Yo, Fuad is roasting everybody's pick right now. I just say it. Does. I don't know. I just like <laughs> why is guy why is guy got his head covered? What I, I didn't say anything bad. She was like he smelled a fart in the first picture. <laughs> <laughs> She squeaked, she squeaked one out there and she's trying not to smell it. <laughs> Ian, really? Yeah, I love Emily Blunt. Yeah. You know who's a close second for me? Uh, okay, cute kid there. Look at that picture. She's so cute. And John Krasinski's fucking hilarious, so you know she's funny as shit. Yeah. I don't know. I think my pig's better. No. I think I'm, Nobody I'm go, beats my pig. Bro. I think I'm going to go with Guy on this one. Yes! No way. Jennifer Aniston. It's so like everybody's pick, though. Like nobody's gonna say no to. Yeah, but it's everybody's pick for a reason. Man, guy picks that's just everybody's everybody that's a celebrity's been with her. Look at that. You agree? Uh, no. You like Sophia Bush, though. I do, but I don't find her particularly attractive. Yeah. Oh, she likes her too. Yeah, because she's obsessed with One Tree Hill, so she likes her. But she she still thinks of uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Emily Blunt is cuter. Oh, she she has to say that she's your wife. What? That's, that's I'm just kidding. That's wife. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is probably mine. If I had to pick like a real one, I want to see. Oh, now see. Okay, hold on. Let me say something. Originally, I would agree with you. If you go back to what she looked like before she got her face changed, that's why I didn't choose her. I don't she, know. All these pictures look good. She, no, she used me my celebrity crush. You go go back to before. Make it fall. Put, put boring. Before, wait, put boring. before and after. Boring. Put you before and after. This Fuad. is like a 16 year old girl picking fucking Fuad. 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 Yes. Fuad. Put yes. before and after. My mom wanted me to tell you that Megan Fox has toes and thumbs. That's okay. She's got to have something wrong with her. Like fucking ET. <laughs> she can't be 100% perfect. Like she's ET. <laughs> Type in before and after in the, in the search. Megan Fox before and after pictures. Yeah, why? Is it that big of a difference? Yes, dude. That's why I can't pick. I gotta her. see. She, she's yeah, but got, it, she's, her face is not the same. But wait a minute. Let's if see, the after, see. if the after is better, it's the inner button, Fuad. Because the after is fake. <laughs> the inner button. <laughs> look! Look! Look at the top photo. Ah! Oh, that's bad. She's ugly as fuck, dude. Well, I can't. That's why I can't choose her, bro. Yeah, but she made a change. She made yeah. a change, and now she's good looking. No, so a change would be like. Hold on, hit, hit, okay, look at this before. Look at before and after. Look, that's still. Nah, good. dude, go to go to that's the other one. Before and after. That's like morning and night. Look. Go to the top. Go to the top. Second one. Yeah, that one. He won't click it. <laughs> he won't click it. Look like at the, him. Like this you one. Little before, asshole. This before after. Before and after. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Right? I just can't choose her because of that. <clears throat> all right. Anyway, we all so so who won? No one won. I think I won. Nick Nick probably okay. has Nick probably has the most popular of the of the four. Well, that's that's like everybody's popular vote. Uh, you know, Steph, uh, <laughs> Does it really? Yes. Who's that? Your mom there? Yeah, she's oh. talking shit. What's she talking shit about? What's your she mom said, saying? Type in Megan Fox toe thumbs and it shows up. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> I love your mother. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Did they have a picture of it? Oh! That's, oh! that's not her. One second. <laughs> what the fuck is that? How can we oh, prove? Go to that one right There's... there. Oh, geez. Ew. Oh, my that looks God. like a toe, bro. That's Photoshop, man. That's no not real. Way. That looks like a fucking toe. <laughs> that's that's Photoshop. give you the old fucking thumb knuckle, bro. That's okay. I'll take it. I like a little little right tickle. In the, right in the fucking pie hole. I like a little Mama, tickle. Mama Duke's got jokes. <laughs> Holy shit. What's your mom's what's your mom's celebrity card? Get that one. Look at the nose. Go uh, down. Who's your celebrity? All right, go bottom. The internet's Her celebrity crush is Jason Momoa. Oh, that's obvious. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. Oh, go figure, Aquaman. right? Aquaman. Yeah, that's Aquaman. Yeah, yeah, your mom's got good taste. I'd fuck He's him. a handsome fellow. That's what I looked like up until last night. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Um, what, does your mom know what your dad? Do you know? Does your mom know what your dad's celebrity crush is? You know who dad is? Yeah. I feel like he likes some corny shit. Yeah. Corny or horny? Dad, who's your celebrity crush? Dad, who you oh, your crush? dad's there too. Yeah, they came down to visit. Ask your dad who's celebrity crush is. I want to see. Who's your celebrity crush? All right. All right, he, he needs a second to think about it. Okay, let me know when he's ready. I think I heard him say, "Guy, sister Nino." I just heard him say. <laughs> 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 all right listen i'm, I'm gonna go okay this is a question for everybody okay i'm going to list four candle scents align yourselves each with each other oh, baby. with which scent you would be okay <laughs> bourbon bourbon, <laughs> bourbon mop water bourbon mop water okay bourbon mop water month old refried beans wait, hold on can we, can we, can we go can we go one because i'm not gonna remember all these just wait. I'll, I'll remember. Okay, go. Just, so I'll, just one sec. Bourbon mop water, month-old refried beans, curbside laundry surprise, warm and fuzzy old folks home. Okay. I'm the warm and fuzzy old folks home. Huh? I was going to say I'm... I'm probably refried beans. Y I yeah. was going to say that, actually. You're, you're refried beans. <laughs> the guy's the bourbon mop water. Yeah. Wait, why the fuck <laughs> is bourbon true. mop water? Yeah. It is true. It is. Wait, yeah. I was... Who has going to be the dirty laundry since he doesn't wash his towels every fucking 15 times? No. I'm refried. I think, I, I I'm think refried I'm, I'm the curbside surprise, and I think Nick's the old folks home. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'll give the old curbside surprise. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that is? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, strictly uh, physiques. Does Steve Laurius have a more classic physique than Christopher Bumstead? Or Chris no. And will he place top three at the O, assuming he will qualify? No. Top three? Uh, I don't think top three. Steve Loris has got a pretty nice fucking physique, man. No, he does, for but sure. But he still looks unbalanced. He's still a little bottom heavy, and he doesn't get in good enough condition. But he has all the potential to, yes. Okay, let's assume. I think he could be top five. Top let's five assume, okay, let's assume he gets absolutely shredded. Second, the Arnold one year, didn't yeah, but you can't assume that because it's that's like a, such an important fact. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about actually predicting. I'm just saying just for our hypothetical oh, okay. like sure. now. I'm not saying for actually predicting the Olympia. I'm saying just to look at his physique. What do you think? Chest. You, you think he's bottom heavy? Really? It looks weird on stage. Like, look at, okay, go to the Arnold Classic one there. Third <laughs> row down, right side. Like that? Yeah, something about it just doesn't flow right to me. I don't know if it's his abs or what it is, but... I think it looks pretty good. I think he's amazing, man. I think... Um, it's, it, you know what we were talking about the one week, Ian, where you were saying Chris just has a look about him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he looks fucking insane. Don't get me wrong. I, I got to tell you, if I try and pull this apart like as a bodybuilder... I think you don't think Steve, he looks a little bottom. His quads look a little heavy there, no? His quads do look a little bigger, yes. Yeah. But it, I always like a little bit of bottom heavy in the legs, right? I don't in classic. In classic, that's why. So that's what I was trying to say. Like, as a bodybuilder, when I look at him, I'm like... Impressive as fuck. He's got better body parts. Absolutely. But, but it's yeah. what you keep saying about Chris, which is like that... The intangibles. The intangible, yeah. You can't put your finger on it. There's something about... I think it's also the way Chris presents himself, too, is, is different. The je ne sais quoi. <laughs> yes <laughs> so he was absolutely a top five guy outside of yeah he can play can he place top three who so we got Breon and terrence and then who was fourth last year i think he can beat Breon. i do too i think Breon looks like a mini bodybuilder now i think if branch chen comes back he's in that top five and that's that that's your top five right there who's that who's that branch chen I don't he's, know the best. he's the sickest by far I don't know who that is. Look him up. This guy's fucking so sick. What's his, uh, is it just spelled the way it sounds? Yeah, like Branch Warren, Branch, and then Chen. Chen? Yeah. Like, C -H -E like Chen, but Chen? Yeah. I this guy's like one of my favorite physiques of all time. Like Chen, but not at all. <laughs> very, very clean look. Wow, yeah. He, he, came oh, he, looks, he looks great. He came he's, he's, all right, guys, I'm going to take a minute to let you guys know what's in the Lawnmower 4.0 performance package, okay? In the performance package, you get the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, the crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goods. The trimmer is the fourth generation featuring cutting edge ceramic blades to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. 
The lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof too. You can use it in the shower. Make sure you got easy cleanup. Use Manscaped's liquid formulas before heading out to make sure your balls smell good. Use the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant to keep you on your game in the heat. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts with their performance package, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Guys, get 20% off and free shipping with code RBP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using code RBP. Bottom, he's, he's a little bottom heavy. He's bottom heavy though, dude. He came a li- He came fourth or fifth at the Olympia. And we were saying Steve's legs were bottom heavy. This guy fucking is way yeah, more. Look at that structure, man. That's fucking so nice. That's it's very, squad, he's, got, he's got very clean lines, but he's bottom I mean, heavy. Like you just said about Steve, you know what I mean? No, I don't give a fuck. I like his physique better. Well, that's his preference. I think, um, <laughs> I, I don't give Steve, a fuck. I think Steve Loris is better than this guy. I disagree. Yeah, I definitely do. Wow. There's nothing going on in the gluten hamstring department. Yeah, this is where he lost all the ground in, in that 2019 Olympias from the back, his conditioning and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I would if if Steve was in shape, I would put Steve ahead of him in physique. Like, look at the abs and thighs, though. That's so sick. I'm trying to find. Oh, wait. Yeah. Where is the Abin Thigh? Do you know? Like we were, it was at the one. Of oh, it was something we were looking at. There, yeah, center one. No, down one. Go back. One sec. Like that shot, I love. Yeah, yeah. Chris just has a different look about him, man. I don't know it's not what the fuck it is. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Do you guys ever think about that? Like. You know how, like, you, there's, like, legends of the sport now that we think about back in the day? Do you guys ever think, like, as fans, do you think, like, you're kind of living through it? Because Chris is probably going to be one of those guys. Yep. Chris is already a legend. Like, I, like, I'll give you an example. I used to think when I used to watch football, I used to watch Barry Sanders play. I used to think to myself, I'm watching somebody who's going to be a legend. Like, people are going to talk about this guy for the rest of uh, yeah. football yeah. Eternal, eternity, right? So I would think that while I was watching. I'm like, I get to see him live. And I'm like, I wonder if people, when they see Chris, they're like, they think that same thing. Like, I get to watch this happen live. I'm and sure. And he's forever going to be like a... I think a, true fans of the sport think that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, has there ever been an opportunity in life you didn't take but look back and wished you had? I'm sorry? Has there ever been an opportunity in life you wished you took but you didn't? And you wish you that took I, it. That I took, but I, I wish I didn't take it. No, no. Has, the there other ever, way around. has there ever been an opportunity in your life that you didn't take, but you wish you did? Oh, um, an opportunity. Honestly, no. No, I don't think so. Nothing? No, I swear to God. I regret not going to train with Jay Cutler in 2010. I would regret that too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been 2009 or some shit. I don't remember. Is there nothing, nothing significant, really? No. I've trained with Jay 20 times, so no. Okay, but there's got to be something uh, else. Lucky you. I know. <laughs> Such a fucking one-upper. He's like, ah. I want to rub it in a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> where's the weirdest place you've heard of a bodybuilder injecting SEO? SEO? Direct, directed, at, directed at Ian or James. What's SEO? <laughs> Are me and James the SEO guys or what? I guess. You know what yeah, SEO yeah. is. Like the fucking... Uh, what's is what's that, SEO? Uh, posing oils and shit. Like, like, like synth- synth- posing oil? Like synthol yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Calf. That's yeah, the that's weirdest place you've heard of it? Yeah. That's not weird. That's pretty common. Traps. Traps. Oh, yeah. no. I know the answer. What? Somebody injected fucking SEO in their forearm? Yeah. I mean, they're brachialis, like in the top here. Yeah. What the fuck? How painful is that? I don't know. Do you want me to ask him and let you know? Yeah, I do. Try it. What the fuck, man? That'll I'm good on that. Are you, lose the bed. Got to inject. Are you taking those things to the post office? Yeah. Thank you. You got mine? I'm good on that. Thank you. Um, why is Ian's forearm so massive? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ian? I, I just had done some reverse curls before that photo, so it was fucking nice and juicy. It was good. <laughs> You know, the photo, you know the photo he's talking about, right? No, yeah. I don't. this is directed at me. This is that means it's a weird question. Oh no, go to Mark's Mark's Instagram. Okay, one sec. 
Mark Berger. Berger. Mark Berger. Berger. Okay, where? Second row, middle. Yeah. Okay, and then go to the right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, this doesn't look overly massive. Whoa. It's not like a Flex Lewis form. What? Like mine's that looks great. And I'm, I'm, just... I'm even covering half of it up with the shirt. Ian, my, Nick, mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nick's is probably bigger. Nick's got fucking huge arms. Nick, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> should, I get out the, should I get out the tape? Nick, you, can you tape your form? Do it. I don't have tape. Let's see. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. I got a fucking seven, bowl, man. What do you got? I'm gonna guess seventeen and a half. Really? Yeah. His? Yeah. I'm so, right there. Okay, guys. See you. <laughs> I can get around by myself. You get Melissa to help. Oh, come on, they're not that big. Relax. Melissa just left. Oh. Oh, it's exactly 17 and a half. You're right. <laughs> uh, we got to get yours, Nick, when you have time. I know. I don't have a tape measure. Yeah, yeah. That's 17 and a half right there. Mm-hmm. I think I want at the gym. When I go, I'll have a video of it. Guy. Uh, oh, no. Wait, we, wait. Where did that one? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, guy. God damn it. Uh, Fuad and Guy, you're going to you're going on naked and afraid. What you bring with you? Oh, it was just on TV the other night. I was watching it. What naked? What show? And, naked and afraid is a show. Yeah. What is the show? It's when you're butt naked. They drop you in the middle of the fucking forest. You get to pick one item, and that's it. <laughs> oh, we've done this. We've 20, done this before. You got to you got to be out there for 21 days. And I'm just to gonna fight. find Guy and fucking let him help me survive. That's I'm gonna, gonna him meet you for 21 days. <laughs> He's going to kill you and then be fed for a month. Uh, okay. Guy, are you getting vaccinated before Puerto Rico? No, next. I just got my, my test today, and the girl just texted me, and she said, what'd she say? She said, your results what'd are What'd she say? What'd she say? <sighs> oh, she goes, your results are in, smiley face, and I wrote, am I dying? And I didn't get a response, so. The results oh. are in, you have gonorrhea. Damn it. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, I got it right here. Not detected. I don't know what that means. Oh, free bitch. So you're good? Is that what that means? Yep. To the whole crew, Dorian Yates recently said using anti-estrogens can weaken tendons. Has anyone heard of that and or thoughts on it? Yes, I've heard that. Yeah. Well, steroids weaken tendons, don't they? Mm, I don't In general. Know. Well, steroids make the muscles stronger, but not the tendons. So yes, it, 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 it re, re, indirectly ratio. Yeah, yeah. So anti So are we saying yes? Anti estrogens weaken tendons. I believe that is correct. But I we don't. I think we don't know for sure. Dry, I think they dry your tendons out. Well, you're definitely. Gonna I, be more I, dry. That sounds better to me. You're definitely going to be more dry. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't think they yeah. weaken. I think they dry the tendon, which then which can cause them to become weaker. But guys, sister Nino, rate my physique. All right, let's do one. Oh, I love these. Well, good, gl- lucky for you, your name's not Guy Fucking Sister Nino, buddy. It is today, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Why is shit's not coming up? Did I put it in wrong? You know how many people tagged me in that one thing? When I said sweet on the last podcast, yeah, I, sweet, I, I, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. <laughs> All right, Chris um, Stell. Oh, you like? I, I have the answer to that question. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! AI associated uh, tendinopathy and muscle tendon rupture is exceedingly rare. Until now, only one case with AI associated severe tendinopathy has been reported in the medical literature. And there are no recorded cases of AI associated muscle tendon rupture. So no. Very, very. Yeah. Nice. I didn't think so. No, oh, I was right. Yet again. All right, guy, do your best. <sighs> I need a photo. You got big quads. Shots fired. What the fuck? Eight weeks out. Last you're update until the show. Be shooting fi- shots expensive per round now. That's true. Yeah, I don't know if that's shots fired. Um, I Why mean, is he covering his schmeckle? Yeah, it's a little weird. Um, is that like, the, nice, is that like, a nice. or like a Jersey thing to call your dick your schmeckle? I don't know. <laughs> you, you and Guy both say that. 
He probably got it from me. Schmacko. He's got a good, he's got a, like a, a nice shape to him, but he's just like overall just needs more thickness from head to toe. Has he, has he competed or? I'll, I'll say this for him. The only thing he needs to worry about if, in this pictures that he posted from eight weeks out is he just needs to be in crazy good shape and he's a little behind for eight weeks out. Like from a muscular oh, standpoint, you're an amateur, like it's whatever. You obviously need more muscle, but I mean, just get fucking peeled, man. We're going, we're going like, to... Look at the stage shots. That's there. not classic, bro. But look at the stage shots. He's way, that's six weeks out look, you know? Yeah. And it's not classic. Like his legs got to be way harder than that. His back's got to be way thicker and denser. His chest needs to come up. He's got to thicken up his lower back. His back and his che- his back and his chest are his weakest things for sure. Like when my when I see people like this, he's got I- a he's got a, a, a structure is a little off because his shoulders look narrow to me. Is that you guys seeing that too, or is it a camera angle? His, his shoulders are narrow. That he, because he's got kind of big quads, it's making it look worse, you know. Yeah. But he's he's also not classic. No, he should be doing like a lighter class bodybuilding. What somebody like this, what I would tell them, I'd be like, this this looks like somebody that literally does a show every year. And I would be like, take a fucking year off of competing and, and grow. Pack on weight and stop. Like he's eight weeks out. Like I did, like, bro. You're not doing a show. Like fucking. You, oh, you know what? What the fuck was that? Good for you, buddy. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> That's my man. He went up some points. He just went up some points. Good for you, Chris. Yeah. Uh, he went from 1.5 to a 1.6. Wow. <laughs> and fucking Nick thought he ate ass. <laughs> yeah, he's like, really eating ass. Look at he's, that. Right, he's right in there. He's like, how, much, how, much he pre- how much is he pressing there? Bottom left. I mean, if she farts, he's getting pink eye. What's this? A plate? Two <laughs> thirty fives? Yeah, just over two plates. I, I, I don't know, man. This is what I'll say. I think Guy is 100% right. I think I've said this before when people said they're competing. I think you should finish your physique out, man, before you get on stage. Yeah, it's not ready. A like very immature look to the muscle. Like, I'll tell you guys this. I don't know how you guys started, man, but when I started, the day I decided to want to be a bodybuilder, I waited a year and a half before I did my first show. I said, because there was a show coming up in like three or four months. And then the I'm like, I'm going to wait till the following year to do that show. And gave myself enough time to actually like kind of fill out my physique. So I kind of, I agree with Guy. It's like, I don't know, man, maybe just wait, put on more muscle, round out your physique a bit. But see, I, I think a big problem that I see, and, and maybe- Get off your phones. Huh? <laughs> these, these, you guys, you're on your phones. I, my hands are crossed. No, not you, Guy, these two. I'm nah, like, bro, not me. Like, hold on, interlock. Go ahead, Guy. I think like you you just posted a video of that guy training chest, right? Yeah. Like two reps, didn't touch, touch his chest. Yeah. And- doing that amount of weight for that little reps like when somebody's like where does the problem lie in my physique or why can't i gain weight it's usually a diet or a training question like like answer it's either you're not eating enough or you're not training the right way and based on the 30 second clip the three second clip you just showed it it doesn't look like he's training the right fucking way like you gotta understand that just because you're you know listen i i like people watch guys like ian and guys like Ronnie and guys like on Nick, here right now. That what the fuck's going on? This is the same guy. I just want to talk show while you're talking what you're saying, guy. I don't Nick see. Just me. showing like a bar that says Instagram.com. It's like oh, does it? That's yeah, fucking weird. It just says a bar. Sorry, that's weird. Go on. Um, they see guys like you know Ian, like Ronnie, like Jay, like Nick, like Branch training fucking heavy, right? So like like for example, he's leaning completely over. He's not upright. He's pushing off it rather than going like this, sitting back and using his quads. He's not working anything in this video. Nothing. Dips. Well, Zero. he's kind of doing chest, shoulders, triceps, and, and, and legs. When I look at his physique, yeah. I'm like, your physique looks like how you train. You're but not I, but like- I wonder. I also wonder to myself too, guy, when you say that. And this, Chris, hopefully, I'm I'm sorry, man. We're not. No, no, I know. I, we're not I, trying I, to. We're not trying to shit on you at all. We're just trying to kind of critique this on a broader basis. Oh. Oh, that, that back looked like it's like a fucking break. Holy shit. And don't, and don't do one rep maxes, man. Like, you don't need to do that. That made me cringe. Um, what I was going to say is, to Guy's point, was if the training looks like this, the food probably isn't much better. Yeah. Like, Oh, my God. Get it off. <laughs> yeah. it's. Um, I just feel like, you know, maybe a little bit more attention needs to be paid to what's happening. Just, uh, Chris, lighten the fucking weight and get perfect your form 
with the reps and the weight you can handle and the weight will increase as time progresses. Can I ask you, can I ask you a question guy and Ian and Nick actually? Yeah. Look at this press, right? I know what you guys are going to say. Well, he's not going down to his chest, but I actually think this is better if you want the truth. Okay, okay. We'll do it like that. I don't. I don't touch my chest. I don't touch I, my chest I either. Stop a little bit before my. My problem with that is in when I when I press. I go a little I, wider though. I don't. Yeah, a little I, wider. Yeah. My elbows are here. One There's second. Problem. One second, guy. One second. I press like this. Yeah, you keep your elbows underneath. And he yeah. was completely like this. No, no. I just wanted to address the going down to your chest because you said it earlier, and I'm like. Well, I mean, I, I stop right. I'm talking like here. Yeah, I probably just well, go. I used to touch it until my shoulder surgery. Ian, you press really heavy, man. What do you do? You go like ninety degrees with the elbow, or do you go lower than that? Depends how good my shoulder mobility is feeling. I usually stay about off my chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. about right. Yeah, that's what I think too. I do that now because so. I feel like just, just to and this, I know this isn't the point. It's just of the excessive but... run delt strain and and taking yeah. tension off your chest if you go too low. I always tell people it's a risk reward thing. It's like yeah. that extra fucking inch you're gonna go. Yeah, you're getting more stretch in your chest but you're also to fuck you up torturing the fuck out of your shoulder yeah and my, my you see a lot of guys getting pec tears is when they come down and it's that top like this last bit right here when they start to push up and it's doing you know yeah. Yeah. yeah i wasn't tearing apart his range of motion i was tearing apart the fact that he should be doing better reps no no high- i get it yeah yeah no you're right i won't no i wasn't saying about that i, I think your assessment's 100 percent on like, I'm sure you, how many times have you guys have like guys train with you and they like, obviously, you know, Nick and fucking uh, Ian are extremely strong, but like I, I have guys coming to the gym that train with me and they'll like, we'll be doing chess and they'll start throwing on plates. And I'm like, I know you can't fucking hang yeah. in that department for the amount of, I rest. hate that. It's like, just go your own pace. Yeah. And I, I'm like, man, like in a way, sometimes I, I don't want to, I don't say it to people, but I'm like, it's kind of disrespectful to walk into a gym with somebody that like does what we do and think you can hang. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Like, but I, to them, but to them, it's a challenge, right? No, no, like, because I, this same, it's funny. Cause the same conversation I had yesterday, a lot of kids come to the gym. And I don't know how many people you guys have trained with. Cause I, I train with people and fans all the time. If they message me and they actually get excited. Like they're all amped to come and train. And they're like, I, I want to train legs with you. And I'm, I can't wait. I'm so pumped. Yeah. When I was fucking coming up and I had to train with like Roly and branch and fucking Jay, and the, I, like, every time I trained with Branch, I didn't get excited. I was fucking fat shit, scared, nervous, but, like, this is going to suck. So I don't know what goes through these kids' heads when they think coming to the gym is going to be like a fucking carnival ride. Yeah, well, you, I think it's the thrill it. of them knowing they're Like, training. if I go to the gym and train with Nick no, and... No, but wait a minute. It's different, guy. You knew what went into training before you got to see Branch. So you're like, I know how hard my training is, this guy's going to fucking kill me. So you would go scared. But these guys, some of these kids and fans don't really get what we're doing in the gym. They you don't, don't, really, they don't really get what we post and like what we do that they, they can't understand that. it's Okay. Let me, let me ask this. How many times have you posted an exercise and then had somebody tag you copy, copying the exercises you did, but it doesn't look anything like it. it the, the other day when I did those fucking, the over, the over unders the, or the rainbows, I had people yeah. posting like this. Yeah. It, it just I'm looks like, different. That's not what I did in the video. I said I barely. I just cleared my head. Yeah. So they don't. If they don't feel the pain on their own, then why this? Why would they be scared to train with you? They don't get what the pain feels like. It's yes. like that kid. I get knew, it. Knew what to expect. It's like the, it. It's like the kid that just we just saw deadlifting. I'm sure he's seen Ian fucking deadlift eight fucking plates, but he's doing it totally different. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't feel it the same way. I, I didn't. I honestly didn't even process it like that. To be honest. Yeah. With you. Uh, if you could have one person from the crew's strong point, but had to have one person from one person's weak point in exchange. We've done this. What was do it again? Really? Okay. Have we done it? I don't remember. Because yeah. remember we everyone picked my calves. Oh, that's why you don't want to do it. You're no, like, oh. was it, no, it was no, no, no. <laughs> but no, they were they guys, were asking, you guys they all picked guys for, arms. They were asking for body parts. This is, I think, is different. I think this is asking like overall attribute as a person. I well it said weak points, but we can take it that way if you want. Oh, okay. We can take it that way. That's interesting. I like that. No, I'd fuck. That's too deep. I'm thinking body parts. (laughs) That's too deep. I agree. Why? Do it. What's wrong with that? Okay, so you get to you get their strength, but then you also get their weakness. Let's say let's say this. I I was thinking like loyalty and like that's where I was going. Let's say this. You can pick 
anything from the person, sure. physical or mental, or a- anything about that person, strength and a weakness. I would say Nick, Nick's mentality of thinking he's going to win because I that's where my biggest weakness is always like, am I going to am I going to do good? Am I going to do well? And Nick's like, I'm just going to win. I wish I wish I could train like I'm going to win because I don't I don't have that mentality. I don't think like that. That's my biggest problem. And I think the fact that we bust Nick's balls for acting like that, but I still think it's pretty fucking cool. That's something. Now you got to take a weakness of his. Huh? Now you got to take a weakness of his. His veins and his calves. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the weakness have to be from the same person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's if you're picking someone's strength, you also get You their have weakness. to take their weakness. All okay. right. His weakness, uh, his sexual preference of butt licking. <laughs> I don't want my butt licked. I don't think that considers. You have thing. to try it, guy. I'm telling you. It's not a weakness, buddy. We've got that's a strength. I never said it's never happened. I just said I prefer to do the licking. My I don't. But I, wait a minute. I, I, you I, had I, it. The girl's ass. You had it happen, and you didn't like it. No, to a couple times. Yeah. What are you were you on all fours? She didn't do it right. Oh, like the human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, I'm just trying to, I'm just wondering because it, sometimes it feels better when you're on your back. I was on my back. <laughs> on your back with his legs up. Were you holding, were you holding no! your legs? <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew any way I answered this. I, it was going to be a bad answer. So I was just trying to fucking pick the one I, that was the best fitting. So out of all of, all, out of all of Nick's weaknesses. I was like this, come on. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just all saying. of my weaknesses. <laughs> How you many know, do I fucking As soon as I here? said all, I knew he was gonna fucking chime in. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I meant like all three. There's only like three. But like as long as you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the one you're taking out. No butt licking. Yeah. No. You're taking the cab, so you didn't give me hey your dad. I just saw your dad walk by. What's his yeah, who's your did he crush? find out his who's crush? Who's your crush? Who's your crush? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? She's the uh, Tom Selleck's daughter in the Blue Bloods. Bri- Bridget what? Monahan. Bridget Monahan. Let's Tom see. Brady's ex. It's Tom Brady's ex. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> now we're just trying to fucking scoop her up. Tom Brady's ex. Trying to be a rebound. Way to go, Papa Dukes. <laughs> rebound game is tight. What did, she, what did he say? He said oh, he's trying to be the rebound. He's good. <laughs> yeah, I remember this girl. I think your dad's got us all beat. She is pretty. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. That's a natural, like. She was in. Uh, who was she in? She was. Which one? She's in movies for sure. With, which girl? She was the big demeanor. Wait, hey, was she in uh, a Keanu Reeves movie? I can't remember. The bl- she was the blonde? No, she had the black hair. Oh, the dark hair. Oh, yeah. That's, she was hot, man. Nah. Coyote ugly, yeah. Yeah, she's got like a MILF thing going on. Yeah, I like MILFs. I Robot, Coyote Ugly, John Wick. Yeah, she's in John Wick. Oh, she was the girl in I Robot. Lord of okay. Wars. Oh, Robot. yeah, she was in I Robot Will Smith. Yeah. She was the female cop. John Wick and John Wick 2. She's in a lot of movies, big movies. I'd smack her. I'd smack her around a little bit. Good job, Pop. <laughs> 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 Good yeah. I that they can hear us. I know. Yeah. That's good. Solid one. Does, solid does, piece of ass. does Papa Walker Nick? Does Papa Walker win? Huh? That's a good pick. Yeah. I think he might win. I like my I think he won, bro. Well, he definitely beat you. You're fucking Oprah. I picked Megan, I picked Megan Fox. Can we talk oh, about Tom Brady? Can we talk about Tom Brady's head in this picture? <sighs> Which picture? Which right one? Down, down. The one you were just on. This one? No, down. Oh, that one. That one. No, you you had to skip the pit one in the middle. Look at his head. Yeah, it's, it's like, the, head it's head. like his helmet. His head grew into his helmet. Yeah. It looks like his. It looks like his eyes shifted down to his nose. That's a weird fucking angle. Right. All right, back to our uh, Nick. What are you taking? Somebody's best and worst. I don't know who's best. I would take. I have everything I need. I'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you really think there's nothing you want? Like nothing. No. When you, th- I, listen. This, I'm being dead serious right now. When you think of yourself. In all terms, physical, mental, whatever. 
you don't think there's anything you're like, I think that should be better. It, in terms of my physique, yes, but mentally, no. Interesting. <coughs> I would think the opposite. Interesting. Why would you think the opposite? I wouldn't think the opposite of him. I would think the opposite. No, I think someone that dedicates their life to bodybuilding would be critical of their physique and know things they want to improve and work towards improving them. But yeah, but we're not talking about physique. So me- we're talking about we're I- talking about everything though: physique, mentally. Oh well, yeah. Every, anything financially, emotionally, anything. You got him thinking now. Well, I'm, I'm just not thinking. Sure to answer this. It's I would like, probably uh, take Ian's waist. Then you got to get my calves, though. Yeah, I don't want take, the calves. But you got to take something. You got to take something bad from Ian. Hey, wait, I've been training my calves a lot. They're actually getting all bad right now. Okay, wait a minute. It doesn't have to be calves. Is there something bad from Ian you want? Something bad? You have to take something bad from because you took his waist. So you got to. Now we both have shitty chest, so I'll take his chest. There you go. So you just swap out your chest. Swap yeah, out what you chest. <laughs> I'm not playing this body part game since I'm the smallest on the show. You well, it's not. It's, not, it's just everything. You already picked yours. What's Ian? Go ahead. What's er, anything of every anything from anybody? Best. <sighs> Don't stare at me, and I see you. I feel you. He's staring. I He's see staring. <laughs> He's staring. No, I'd. Uh, I'll. I'll take. I'll take Nick's hamstrings, and then I. I get. A, I get his. His veins as well. <laughs> my veins are cool man i don't fucking get it yeah but that's why it's the best pick because it's like a it's like yeah. a win win you know yeah it's how you it's easy to think of the best but then taking the worst is what sucks yeah i think um <laughs> what the fuck is that is your worms <laughs> shut up man. that's fucking hilarious they're from my fridge from fishing what the fuck is that? Worms. They're your night crawlers. Ew. What do you have worms for? Oh, she's fishing. For fishing. Throw them out. I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh James mentality. Eat one of those. Do it. Who dare you? I'll 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 PayPal you a hundred bucks right now if you eat one. I'll PayPal you a hundred bucks to not eat one. Okay, then PayPal me a hundred bucks. <laughs> that was stupid as fuck. <laughs> You're not eating one, so you owe me a hundred bucks. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I would, except I opened it up and they're all dead. Yeah, that's even better. It won't be crawling around your stomach. Oh, shit. All right, I'm taking uh, I'm taking James' mentality and his hair because I already have no hair. Wait, James's hair? He just used that hair stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Did his hair actually grow though? I don't know, but it definitely looks different. I'm going to try it. Do you think it works? No. Listen, that was Photoshop. He photoshopped it. Miracle worker. Imagine Imagine go to fucking Turkey. Go to like now hair time. Just get a full fucking big head of hair. Imagine that. Yeah. Just came back with a fucking fro. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Look at this. Fucking- There's a lot of hair there, man. Like in comparison. Yeah, it, looks be- it looks better for sure. No, I'm just saying like in comparison, right? Like there's a lot more hair on top of his head. Well, it looks like he can afford a barber too in the fucking picture on the right. No, no, I know that. I, I'm not saying. I'm just look at <laughs> just look right. look at just this part right here. I know, I know. I saw it today. He looks like I said it. He looked like he grew a ton of hair. I'm gonna try that shit. What is it? Care for sons? Click it. What is it? Care for sons. It's like a shampoo or some shit. Interesting. Is James is James sponsored on this website? I don't know, but look at this. No. Look at Ian, you have this bald spot in the back of your head. You could fill it. Whoa, mine's not that bad. Well, it's like this right now. Hey, Ian. That's Whoa. How it, that's how it starts, buddy. And yeah. then you know what? In a couple of years? It doesn't yes. take long. Matthew, Matthew, there's 33. I got three more years. Whoa. <laughs> Matthew, there's <laughs> Um. All right. What the fuck? Okay, would you rather have small palms and long fingers or short fingers <laughs> and large palms? <laughs> long, long, long fingers and short palms. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pick the long fingers, I think. Yeah. I'm going sa- street salad fingers, bro. What was the first thing that made you think that? Like, why? Why? Yeah. Better for doing stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I'm trying to, like, 
fucking deadlift and hold shit. Like if I got short little fingers and fucking big palms, I can't hold anything. At least if I got fucking big fingers, I can like, you know, wrap it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm picturing like a catcher's mitt. What's jerking off going to be like with no palms? Well, you have palms. You just got small palms. You're just yeah, fucking <laughs> yeah, you're doing this. Yeah. Being I'll, this get my, I'll get my Versa grips out. <laughs> <laughs> that might work. Short fucking palms and long fingers. No, I'm not taking I'm not taking short I fingers. I can't have long fingers because I'm a midget. I look like a fucking my, my fingers would be scraping the ground. You guys ever watch salad fingers back in the day? No. You don't know salad fingers? No. Google salad fingers, bro. I'm gonna. The Canadian thing. It's got this is we should watch salad fingers on the air right now. No, because you guys won't watch human centipede. I ain't watching fucking salad fingers. No, this isn't sexual at all. It's fucking weird as shit. It was like an e-bombs world, like weird thing back in the day. Yeah, this what the fuck? five million views. Five million views. Yeah, man. There's this is one episode. What is it? We gotta watch the ad. Salad Sorry, fingers. I can't afford oh. premium. Okay, right. turn the volume up. Oh, this is an hour long. We got all of them here. One second. Uh, Sorry. Sorry. Give me one second. What happened? I don't know. You fucked up. Second time today. <laughs> Fucking hostile computer. No way. Hello. Are you guys watching it now? Yeah, look at this finger. Yeah. I like rusty spoons. Can you hear it? That's the weirdest thing you've what ever What the seen. fuck? Touch them. Ian, what are you doing watching this shit, bro? Feeling of rust. Man, how much weed do you smoke before you watch this? That's fucking weird shit. I, look, 39 million views on the video. One second. one second. I gotta do this. That way we can all hear it. Go the second one. The second, like the second. Second. No, go back. Oh, what's fine? This one? Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah. How excited are you? See, look what at those. No palms, all fingers. Hello. What the fuck is this, Ian? I like rusty spoons. You know, Ian, what is going I, I on like with you, bro? To touch them. Enjoy <laughs> yeah. it. The feeling of rust. What are you watching, man? You are high as a motherfucker when you watch is this. It's shit. almost orgasmic. <laughs> what the f? I must find the perfect spoon. <laughs> what the fuck? Turn this shit off. Wait, it's only a minute and a half. Finish it. <laughs> Hello what the there, young fuck? child. I'm here to inquire about your spoons. <laughs> Is this not the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Yes. I wonder why the world. <laughs> Might I ask where you keep the spoons? <laughs> what the fuck, Ian? Seriously, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, people in the comments, a, a ton of people are going to know this video. I don't know where that even... How much... What drug do you take to fucking, like... Think I don't know how I feel about that. Me too, I, feel, I, I, need, I feel like I need to go shower. That's got 40 million views. Think about that. That's how... Okay. He's how, team food, though. Seriously, wait a minute. How do 40 million people watch that? And I've never heard of it before. That's a very famous video, yeah. I've never heard of it, so I'm right in there. Fam famous for what? Like, do young kids watch that? Like, who watches that? Yeah, that was on, like, do you remember E-Bombs World and, like, those kind of things? Yes. Yeah, yeah. E -bombs like that, back in, like, the, like, 2004, 5, 6, you know? Yeah. I love E-Bombs World. It was, like, the, one of the biggest videos on there back then. What the fuck? But it's, like, nothing. I don't get it. Like it's very exactly, it's just fucking weird, like weird shit, and it's like that was probably like, the weirdest fucking this? thing I've ever seen in my life. It's fucking weird. There's multiple episodes. That's just one episode. I know it was an hour. Yeah. 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 I like spoons. That's spoons. <laughs> That's what he does in like a lot of the videos. He like takes his fingers and, like fucking rub shit. You know. It's I'm very orgasmic. That's all fingers, no palm. That's nightmare tonight, and it's gonna be full up with long fingers going. <laughs> <laughs> I like rusty spoons. <laughs> Where do you keep your spoons? <laughs> All right, listen. Who's gonna Who's gonna have kids first? Me. I'm gonna go Ian. 
I prefer butthole, so I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> Unless <laughs> to a vagina and have a kid. Does adoption count? Does what? Does adoption count? Oh no, I'm not adopting. Already... I know, but does adopting does adopting, does adopting count? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's your your it's your kid. You're yeah. talking about like See how mean guy. See how mean guy was. He's like, no, it doesn't count. No, 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 no. You're adopting it a kid. Back to have a child, like give, like I, I assume to give birth. That's no, you assume. Whoever, whoever acquires a child first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to buy a kid? No, well, that's how it works, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it counts. It still fucking well, counts. Are you, are you in the adoption process? We talked about it before. We, we, I know. We, but... we were always discussing. Okay, but that that could take. Are you leaning time. more toward a yes? Yeah, I I want to. It's just it, it's fucking terrifying, man. Oh my god, I can't for sure, it's a challenge. You know, you know, this is the thing. It's like this is how the thought process works. If you're 25, 30, 35, whatever age, and you just you're having sex with your wife, girlfriend, or even some random stranger, and you have a kid, you have no choice. You well, you have a choice, but let's say you decide you're going to have the kid, you just man up and you have the kid and you pay the bills and you raise the kid and you do your best, right? It's like a, the adoption thing is like you have to. What your happened? Screens, like, your screen's dirt here. Okay. You gotta allow it to cool, bro. Oh, for fuck's sakes! I got a new camera. One second. Yeah, here. The camera's too hot, man. You overheated it, bro. Okay. Put the fan on. <laughs> one second here. I'm trying to figure this out. Give me a second. Oh my god, where did the guy go? Is it one of those cricket? Uh, who, uh, was it one of those cricket wireless phones? There we go. Oh, back in action. Back oh my in action. god! Look at this angle. <laughs> It's a new way. He actually, he's actually looking at the camera. This is some Joe yeah, Rogan it's up, shit. It's up here now. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I feel, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, anyway. So, is it? Is there anything in the background I shouldn't have back there? No, just your fucking Muhammad Ali, Hello. white, a white huh? statue with some. All right. <clears throat> um. No, those are first. Okay. <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> That's the Orlando trophy, eh? Nobody a, caught on to it. Yeah, I, was I caught it. I caught you. You fuck. Um, no, it's just ter- the adoption thing is scary because you have to literally go, okay, we're gonna go do this thing, and it's like a, it's weird. It's like a choice more than a, it just happening. Does that make sense? Yes. Yep. And I'm like, you're actually, you're actually like prepared to have the like to to get the kid, whereas like when it happens, you're not always prepared for it. Yeah, and I guess the scary part is you know we have the business like the supplement company and just have a lot of stuff going on all the time, and I'm like, I don't want to fucking fail as like, you know what I mean. Like not have the no, time. The part of being a parent is, is figuring out how to make it, how to be- You'll make it work. Trust me. Yeah, that's what I think too. I mean, I'm not I'm not fucking lazy, but it's still terrifying to think. And then, and then there's honestly there's a lot of red tape. It's yeah. like, do you do it private? Do you do it through the public? Like, yeah, I know the process is a fucking nightmare. The public, yeah, do whatever you're comfortable with. You know the reason why the public part scares you is there's a two year probationary period. Do they come like check on the kid and like? No, no, the- that that's okay. But there's a two year period and this is what I was told. So anybody in the comment section will correct me if I'm wrong, but I was told there's a, and this is by a social worker. She was telling me there's a two year period where if the mom of the, if the biological mother changes her mind they, or, or the family itself changes their mind, I don't like that. They can take the kid back. So I see, that's fucking crazy. Imagine. I think that's wrong. Imagine, so, so imagine having a kid so, for two years and just having it ripped out of you like that. So imagine, imagine my fear, right? Let's say you get a kid that's you get like, attached. Let's say you get a baby that's like 10 months old. Yeah, but you just got to pick a baby that has no living family. Well, that's not that. You, you, I don't think it works like, publicly. It doesn't work like that. You don't pick, right? So it's like, let's say you find a baby and it's ten months old, and you raise it till it's just before two years old. Imagine all the shit that happens in that year. You know, it starts to walk, it starts to talk a little bit, and then all of a sudden the fucking family comes back, like, ah, oh, we want the kid back. Yeah, you You're imagine right. how fucked up that is for the kid. Well, the kid's still too young to realize it. But can you imagine how no, fucked it up I, is for you? Like you, you see kids at like one, no mom and dad. Yeah, they'd be calling you mommy and like dad. You, I see kids that are fucking infants that are like reaching for their mother because they know who mom is. No, like, no, but I mean like when that kid's 20, I don't know if they're going to remember being like one. No, you're right. You're yeah, right. So I'm saying I, like. I, I, don't know. I, I think you're, I think at that age, like your brain, like you don't forget all like everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's a, it's a, it's kind of, and then the private process is scary because there's less red tape, but also not as many checks and balances as to whether like where that kid came from, you know, all that stuff. So like, you don't, you don't get as much information about the child. 
Yeah, you're also not adopting a dog. Like it's also your job as a parent to raise the kid. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is like, you kind of want to know where the kid came from, like what the circumstances were. You kind of want to know that stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, you like know? if the mother was like a crack addict or. Yeah. Like you kind of want to know those things, right? You, you don't want to. You don't want to get a kid that's like, like, you know, I, I get it. Yeah. It's just tough. It's, there's a lot of scary factors. So I think the answer is still, I think I'm going to have a kid first. <laughs> Now it's, comp- that, now, it's, a, now it's a competition. Now it's a competition. I think. I think before you get through the tape, I would have a kid. Well, not re- no. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, it's going to. James ever going to have kids? Listen, if Melissa got pregnant today, it's going to take her nine months. Yeah, but it would take you way more than nine months to get adopt a kid. You think so? Not if I did it privately. No, not privately. Shell, shell out the cash. Yeah. All right, whoever oh. loses the bet for Puerto Rico has to have a kid first. <laughs> <laughs> That's the motivation I need. That's a steep bet. <laughs> I mean, I will say, good for me. I've been trying to convince Melissa I have kids for fucking six years. So if I lose, that's great. You guys convince her. You wait a minute. Say that again. You've been trying to convince Melissa. Oh yeah, I want to have kids for six, seven years. I'm is right. She, I'm is right. She okay? You. Is she okay with this being public? Yeah, yeah, of course. So you've been trying, and she says why? No, because why? Because uh, she still like has stuff she wants to do. She wants to compete still. Like yeah. she doesn't feel like she's quite closed that door yet. You know, I think this year will be approaching that for her. You know, she wants to get like one more after that 2019 Arnold disaster. She wants to get like one more season to prove to herself that she's not a fucking chump, you know? Yeah. Um, so I think she want to kind of wants to get that, that done with and feel good about that. And I'm not saying she's going to com- stop competing right after that, but at least clear her conscience on that before she makes that decision. Yeah. 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 Is there, um, how old is she? Is she your age? Yeah, we're two weeks apart. Okay. Yeah. It's weird because time flies by really quickly because I remember going through my career and thinking to myself, ah, not time, not yet, not yet. I still just want to, I want to do this show or that show or get this done or that done. Next thing you know, you're 40 fucking years old. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah. What the fuck, right? Yeah. So is she pulling one of those or does she have a deadline where she's like, no, this is the No, time. no, no. She has a, de- a deadline for sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not going to wait till after we're 35 to have kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I, I had that plan too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the bet. I think I beat Ian. Okay. I'll take that bet. What are we going to bet on it? You got to shave your head for this one. If I get a kid, you got to, sh- yeah. you got to, sh- okay, you got to shave your head. If you got to, if, if he gets a kid, you got to dunk yourself in wax and get fucking your whole body waxed. Yeah, you're getting a full body waxing then. Me? Yeah, you're growing out all your body hair. No, the loser, whoever loses. Okay. Full body wax. Yeah, full, uh, throw out all the body hair for a month, and then we're doing a full body legs, arms, chest yeah. And wax. Yeah. You know how stupid it is that we're betting on who has kids first? That's it's like matter. the most it's like the most serious topic ever. We're like <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna bet on who has one first. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, I I ain't gotta work. Me, me and Nick are good. You could you have Get to ready. Yeah, what they, if what if Nick wins? It's like a you know, he can fucking have an accident. No, 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 no. I know where the butthole is. There's no there's no mistakes. <laughs> you never use the fucking other hole? Of course I use the other hole. Pull out game is extra strong, but I don't like to pull out, you know? Straight butthole, bang, done. Is your mom sitting behind you? Yes. Yeah, your mom's, she hears your mom's still there. Yeah, she hears you talk like this all the time. Oh, fuck me. But tell him why it's small ears, so <laughs> Yeah, she said she's got small ears. She can't hear it. Yeah, crack joke. Mama joke. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. For your mother. I don't even want to talk about it anymore because I feel bad. Your mother's a saint. If that was me, my mom would use all these too. Yeah. Ah, dude, Listen, my, mom, my mom's an OG. Can you guys tell... This is retarded. After you go to the bathroom, do you wash your entire hands or just your fingers that touch stuff? That is the dumbest thing I've ever fucked. What, before. someone just put soap and they're just like this? They just like wash their fingers? <laughs> If I saw somebody doing that, I'd go, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, look at that. I fucking slammed my finger in between fucking plates the other day. Look at that fucker. Oh. Oh, dude, I dropped a fucking machine on my toe. <laughs> oh, I can't even I can't show you because I don't have the flexibility, but it's like fucking purple. I feel like I'm in a Jaws movie. No. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um uh, let's do a rate another rate your physique. Yeah. Oh, I feel like you're looking right at me. It's so cute. Who, me? Yeah, when you look at the camera, it's like, is this you're looking at Oh, because I'm looking up at the thing, yeah. Hi. Tom Pacaro. All right, here we go. <laughs> These people know, like, we're, we, we criticize hard. They asked for it, man. This 
So you got gyno? Yeah, he's got to fix that yeah. gyno. Is it fat or gyno, though? I don't know. I don't, I don't, it looks like gyno. Go to a side picture. It'll be easier That's to not a good little physique for a young kid, though. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not that bad. He's a teen. He's still under he's, 19. He's uh, 18 years old, open bodybuilding, five foot nine. Last stage weight was 202. Current weight is 218. At least he doesn't wait, think he's fat. Wait a second. Click. I think I think I trained with this kid. Click off his profile. Oh, uh, he he's a Jerseyan? I think this is one of the kids. Yeah, I think so. Oh, you know, my God. That, that's fucking This is the kid that came bro. back with me. And the first exercise we did, Meadow Rose, he was laid out in the in my gym puking in the bucket. Come on. For Meadow Rose? Uh, you, can ask, you can ask him. Well, what did he eat? Like five minutes before he walked in the gym? That's a good-ass hack squat, though. Yeah. He's strong. I've used it. Look at that back shot. Let me see that back shot down there. He's a thick kid. He's tall too. He's got a good. He's got a good structure, man. See his yeah. hamstrings. He's young. He's young. I think he's like 20, 19. He's eighteen. Oh, Says yeah. he's eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. He's young. I mean, his physique is very impressive for a young kid, but yeah, I give. It's, it's, it's weird. This does not look like the other kid. It's amazing how better he looks when he's shredded. Um, let's see this. Yep. Curious about this. Five plates. Let's bit. see the depth. It's actually good. It's not bad. I watched it. It's more than six fifty. Six fifteen. Yeah. I like his shorts on a safety bar. That's a lot. No, that's Ooh. not good, guy. Come on. That is oh. shitty, guy. That's really bad. Oh, my knees. His, his nose is nose is bleeding. Go to, the next, one. Bleed. Go to the next one. There's five twenty five. One second, man. He's gonna attempt it again. I think. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. Can we just please tell people why this is bad before we move on? Hold on. I want to watch this. Horrible. Nose. I talked to him about this. Here actually. comes. Here it comes. Watch his nose. And his ah. oh, Boom, there it goes. Yeah, Damn, don't bro. don't you know what's funny is at like all the heavy shit I lifted, I've never had like a nosebleed. I've never I, had a nosebleed my entire life. He was like, I just want to try it. I'm like, dude, I said that shit's gonna end your fucking career. I said, don't can do I shit. just tell people something before we move on? You should never put this much weight on. For one, if you could barely do, you must have not been able to do the previous weight. Well, go, go to the video to the next. To well, the let's right. watch it. Five twenty-five for six. That would have been my top set. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, I mean, there's a hundred. I would have never tried to go up. That's a bad squat to begin he's with. Not even, he, and he's leaning fo forward so much. It looks like all to it's like toes and his and, ankles are bent. Uh, this is what ha so like this is a prime example of what I talk about like somebody like this who you, like. Somebody who doesn't know anything about bodybuilding watching this going, this kid's really strong. Put him in the gym with half the weight doing it the right way. He gets buried. Yeah. But it's not even yeah. about getting buried. It's about getting better. So people no, see no, what I'm saying is they come into the gym thinking what that that's right. And then you cut the weight in half, correct their form, do it the right way. And that they, they get buried doing half the weight. You know, what scares me the most on this when he goes down, you see his, his, Ankles kind of bow inwards. Yeah. And he's like on his toes a little bit. It just like this. It looks very awkward. That's knee injuries waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you got to be able to stay through, like push through your heels. See how his knee keeps bowing inwards. The people that are watching, you see his knees kind of bow inwards every time it's he tries to, he tries to go upwards that you don't want that. If you're, if you can handle the weight, you should be able to stay strong all the way through. Yeah, he's got, he's got weak legs. That's why I he's haven't gone that heavy in years. So at everything you're correcting, the first time I trained with him, we trained legs. It's funny. Everything you're saying is exactly what I said to him. Well, the other thing, the other thing, just before we move on from this, is you guys could see who are watching. Those of you watching, you can see when he goes up with the weight, his butt goes outwards. Yeah. And then he's kind of using his lower back. He's not actually using his legs as much as he should. It's be. not. It's like just not good. Morning. So just, yeah. Just like a, a half squat, half good morning. A little crazy. No good. No good. You, <laughs> you guys just heard Nick say it, man. Like, Nick, what do you squat? Three plates? Four the most, the most I've done this entire prep for New York, I didn't go above uh, 405. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Let me see this. You guys hear my dog snoring? A little better, but still his knee form is like... Yeah, like you, I see like the depth is pretty good, but then you see like when he gets to the bottom, his knees bo go inwards. Yeah, that's his glutes are weak is what it yeah, is. Yeah, he's got a weak point, yeah. Oh my God, get it wow. Yeah, it's scary, man. I don't like it. Oh, here we go. This is what I call chicken clucking. Yeah, straight up. Let's see his bench form. There's a bench video above it. Oh, my God. Look at his form, dude. I don't even want to watch it. 
bounce. Yeah, he's bouncing it off his chest. Bounce. And then there's his arch in the back every fucking rep. Deadlift, bottom right. One second. I just want to watch this, this angle. Tom, what are you doing? <laughs> watch watch the knees. He's a good kid. He's young. No, no, no. It's not at all. Look, that's, that's the, fir- the first one's pretty good. Not, not as bad. And then you can see as he gets weaker, he starts to bow the knees in. So it's Let's like see the deadlift video. Deadlift video. Last one. What the hell? That's that's straight like He's walking that out. He should just go right off the ground, man. He's got to bounce it. That's why. He should go right from the ground. That's not terrible for him, though. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, it's pretty you shitty. You should just. No, be- I think you're going to deadlift. So you don't start with the fucking bar. In the He's air. starting in the air because he wants to get What's the momentum, here? the momentum off the ground, right? The bounce off the ground. The just first- start. Just start from the ground. Yeah, one when I when I train with him, I told him oh, I said, he's Dude, bleeding again. Oh, man, he's his bleeding. nose bleeds all the time. He must have a bleeding issue. Well, uh, okay. So I'll tell you what I said to him. We'll just say we'll just say this. So I think, and you guys, you guys can uh, give me, let me know what you think. I think his physique is great for an eighteen-year-old. I think he's got Training tons of. Shit. I think he's got tons of potential. And I think he. Um, he trains like an eighteen-year-old. He trains like an eighteen. So I was just going to say, it, it probably sounds to people that are listening like we're shitting on him, but the truth of the matter That's is, better, homie. The truth of the matter is, like when I was twenty, I fucking did all the same shit, but probably worse. Yeah. So we're, we're take it as a constructive criticism from guys who have done the same dumb shit that you're doing, and because I didn't start getting better until I corrected all that shit anyway. Yeah, so lighten the load until you can per- absolutely perfect your execution, and then work up in the load. Yeah. Correct. First and foremost, your execution be flawless. Go watch Nick's videos. You'll never see him doing anything where his execution is not 100% controlled and flawless. You know. It's pretty amazing, actually, Nick. It's very rare to see a guy your size lift the way that you lift. Yeah. That 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 smoothly. If you think That's about guys, if you think about guys like from my era, all the guys that were really big were a little bit sloppy with their form. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you think of Branch, you think of Ronnie, you think of like even yeah. Jay, was, Jay, Jay had pretty good form, but still a little loose. But like Nick, your shit's like tight. I can only imagine the weight you'd be lifting if you did throw it around a little bit. It would be a lot, but I just yeah. don't find the need for it. Yeah. You know, what's funny is you've actually inspired me lately. I've been training a little bit more strict and actually been feeling, you, feeling better. I feel the muscle more. Well, I feel the muscle anyway. I just, I'm less worried about injury because I feel like yeah. I'm in, more in control. Yeah. You know so. what? I, like, when I started doing that food too, like when I started training John, I found that in the beginning, I really, I wasn't as strong, but as time went on, the weight that I used to use was shittier. It came like, back. I don't think I ever had shitty form. I didn't have perfect form, but I was never, a, I never bounced shit off my chest or it was never me. Um, but as I changed my training style, my weight that I handled went down but progressively it went up as time went on because the weight that I would handle with not so great form, I started handling with fucking impeccable form. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, you know, it's funny. I think about, uh, I think I was 20, 21 or some shit. And I thought it was like a, you know, how, you know how it is when you start training. I don't know if everybody, everybody kind of has this curve where they're like, I think I know everything. And then you learn that, you know, nothing and you have to, yeah. build, you have to build the knowledge back up. So I was at the place where I had just started. I'm like, I know everything. I had seven plates on the squat rack. I unrack it. And one of the guys that had like been around the gym for a while kind of was walking by as I was doing it. I think I squatted like this deep. It was like, it was, yeah. it was like that. And he starts laughing and I rack it. I'm like, what the fuck's your problem? And he's like, what the fuck was that? He goes, that wasn't a squat. And it kind of like stuck with me. And I had to start all over again. I went back to like two plates and I had to build up from there. Cause I was the same guy that all these kids are. I wanted to put more plates on the bar. I never did that. You never did any of that where you just tried to lift more than I you did. Could? I tried to lift heavy, but I never fucking put seven blades on a bar and like like squatted a quarter of a rep. I never I did. did. I think most I think more than more often than not, most people do that at the start because that that they think that's what they have to do. Have you ever seen my five plate bench at when I'm 19 with fucking five million views on it? Yeah, but it's good form, isn't it? We, I remember we, no, we watched that before. Oh, did we watch it? Okay, don't pull it up again, but yeah. No, I'm curious now because you said it's bad form. What's the title of the video? Do you know? 19 year old benches 500 pounds raw. <laughs> raw. <laughs> Had it not benched by Ian. Yeah. I've got like fucking 10 spotters. It's fucking awesome. Is it bad form? 
my butt comes off and I don't touch my chest, but it's not bad for considering the amount of weight. Is this oh, I've seen this. Yeah, it's got fucking four, three and a half million views. How old were you? 19? I just turned 19. How much? Just... I don't, I don't remember this being bad form. I mean, it might not be perfect, but. Wait a minute. Sorry, I missed it. I want to. How did you miss it? Because I was looking at the look at my, the huge my spotter. Huh? I was looking at your fucking humongous spotter. That's pretty deep, dude. Yeah, but look, at my ass is fucking eight inches off the bench. No, that, to me that counts. I would never say that that's shit form. Dude, five hundred pounds. Five hundred fucking pounds at nineteen years old. Yeah. Look how skinny I am too. Did you see my bench? How do we always watch your shit on this show? What? That's good. Um, it's four million views. Now four million and one. Yeah. Thanks for adding to my view count there. <laughs> it's getting a little stagnant. We need to get it going again. Uh, do simple carbs have a place in a prep diet, such as cereal post workout, or does it matter at all that much? Ian, you're, you're the coach. You want to answer that? I don't eat them post workout, but eat what? Other than, other than do, like, do having, simple like, carbs have a place in a prep diet? That's what yeah, you like. I have drinkable carbs. No. Yeah, but like, that, like, no, I don't eat cereal or fucking orange juice or anything like that. Drink prep. No, I do Gatorade during intro workout. That's why I said that drinkable carbs is different. What's having like. Point? Intra R3 or a fucking, you know, like one of those kind of products, like, you know, or the, the raw intra, like anything like that. I, I don't consider the same as eating cereal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, go back. Oh, no, I don't want to do that one. But during off season, sure. I mean, give her, if it, you find it sits well in your stomach, it's easy to eat, get the calories in, fucking go for it. Yeah. Um, to all of you, are any of you fans of the world's strongest man competition? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah. I watched all of it. Nick, you watch that shit? Strong man? Yeah. Yeah. Tom Staltman won. Guy? I love it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's awesome. I watch it when it's on, but I don't actively search it out. It was just on this last weekend. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know, so I didn't like find it. But British young, young British kid won it. Tom Staltman. Brian so Shaw came second. Brian Shaw did compete. Yeah, came second. How young is the kid that beat him? Young. young. Nick, look at your fucking arms, dude. What are they? 24 inches around? 16. I don't know. I haven't measured. Go measure them. I don't have a tape measure. Are you doing that on purpose just to make us all jealous? Tom oh, Stoltman. Man. Tom Stoltman was born in 1994, so he's 27. Who the fuck are you saying hi to? To all the crew, do you think you could take time off in the middle of the year and, and grow into shows like Kevin Lavroni did? No. No, fuck that. I don't think Kevin Lavroni grew... <laughs> the mountain motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, idiots. Kevin, any of these guys that do this could be better if they trained all year round. I'm gonna start reading my right, shit like this because a guy, you're doing this fucking shit where every time I put my head down, you're making dumb faces and shit. No, I, you're wrong, actually. No, he went like this, and I went. <laughs> I actually agree with Ian. I wonder, and I asked Kevin Lebroni that when he was on my podcast. I said, "Do you think you could have been better had you just kept training all year?" And he said, no, he, he thinks he would have been burned out or hurt or something like that. So he said he needed the time off. But I don't know if I agree with that. I don't agree. I can't take time off. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree because burnt out is fucking bullshit because you can tailor your training and your nutrition around that and still train all year round. Yeah. And I think getting hurt is completely about how you train. I think if you're going to fucking train, do 700 pound squats all year round, like. Then you, yeah. You know, but I mean, if you, if you periodize your training properly and you you know do the proper stages i think that that's not an issue whatsoever i think you should take some time off throughout the year like after your shows and shit like give your body a break but i don't think like doing what he did is really going to be um beneficial I, to the mass majority of people i wonder if it's a little bit disingenuous though the way it's put because he's not putting on muscle he's just muscle memory yeah it's right not. like the first like the first bunch of years he was a pro he trained all year round and then there was a period where he stopped doing that but it's like the muscle was already there. So he's just rebuilding. Like he's just filling it back out. It's not like he's. Yeah. No, he stayed the same size for quite a few years. Yeah. All right. What role does supplements play for bodybuilders on gear? All I ever hear guys use is shakes and pre-workouts. Does the rest even matter? I have a ton of supplements. 
I think all of us use a ton of different supplements, yeah. vitamins, minerals, fucking health supplements. I take fucking like a hundred a day. Yeah. yeah. Me too. That does not mean we don't take gear. It does not mean no, but he's saying four or something. No, no, no. I'm just because I know somebody in the comment section is gonna be like blah blah blah. So I'm just saying, like, it's just an addition. People are like, and then people would say something like, Well, why do you use the supplements if you're using gear? And it's like everything it's fucking different. Yeah, everything plays a part. Duh. Yeah. Like just because I take gear doesn't mean I'm not going to drink my aminos or have my intra workout carbs. Like those things are nutrition based. They're not steroid. Like it's it's like oh I take steroids, so I don't need to eat protein. Like what? It's yeah. there's no correlation, you know. Yeah. If I just had to take steroids and not eat and just go to the gym, I'd be fucking Mr. Olympia. <laughs> yeah. Question for all about a split for first responders or anyone that works a certain schedule in a work week, three to four days straight, sixteen hour shifts. Do you guys suggest not training or just resting or cardio in the eight hour gap between shifts? That's a fucking uh, what? Sorry. So if you're working three or four days a week, right? Why does he just train the days he's not working? I think that's what he's asking is like, do a quick pull legs and train three days a week. The days you're not working. Cause he's saying, do you suggest not training? Or just or just doing car or just resting or just doing cardio. What's your goal? Are you trying to be a top level bodybuilder? Or are you just yeah. trying to look good. If you're just trying to like be in good shape, be strong, I would not train the days you have to work sixteen hour shifts. I would get your rest, and I would the days you're not working, I would train. How many days not working does he have? Three. So he only so he works four out of seven. Three to four, he says. So yeah, train three days a week. And if you have a fourth day off, you can throw in a fourth day of training doing cardio. I would say. <sighs> I mean, I would say train five, like four to five and just suck it up for one or two of those days. I, I think four is plenty. Yeah, I think three is like not cutting it, but I think like five might be pushing it with his job, but four definitely. I don't think three is enough. Would all the members get a matching tattoo? No. Sure. <laughs> Ian's like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Bro, like I got a fucking full arm of garbage. Like I'll throw an extra something in there. Like, I mean. You want to throw like a fucking B and B for bodybuilding? Like, oh fucking! I didn't how long? How long, Nick? Would you have to do this show before you did, got a tattoo? Five years. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I would why, get it. it why are you scary. like that? Why? Why are you like that? Why, I would get why it. So stuff. difficult. <laughs> yeah. Like no, it, it depends what the tattoo was. Like, what I would get like a bro chat tattoo, like on the. I would get a bro chat tattoo. I would get a bro chat t- like tattoo, like on the top of my foot. Sure, that's kind of sallyish. I don't know about on top of my. What foot. do you mean? Want to put bro chat across my fucking neck? No, but like that's kind of like a chick place to put a tattoo, like on the top of that, my that's foot. The whole point. That's Want to get it on your on your knuckles? Yeah. Gonna get it bro, in, yeah. in a manly bro, place. B R O T H. I'm gonna get it in reverse. So when I punch you in the fucking face, it says perfectly bro chat. <laughs> Would you rather eat cake or ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. Wow. Everybody? Wait, what was you? Ice cream. I was thinking so. I you guys just blurted out ice cream. I was thinking that's that's because that's ice cream is the oh, fucking God. obvious answer, Fuad. Yeah, bro. It's really <laughs> on your fucking toes. Ian's so angry. <laughs> what are you a girl? You're gonna pick like fucking red velvet cake. Spider's like, an animal, oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> red velvet cake is the shit. Yeah, but you still pick ice cream over it. I did. Yeah, but what if I I want both? I want cake and ice cream. Oh, you fuck you. Ice cream. It is one or the other. I don't want one or the other. I have to have yeah, cake and ice cake cream cake together. Fuad. Who fucking bad? Well, I eat, I eat ice cream a lot more than cake, but I still have to think about it. It's a fucking tough decision. No, it's not. The answer is ice cream. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> but I love ice cream. And exactly. I love cake. What are you and, doing? And, and I love cake. Yeah, I love fucking vaginas and buttholes. But sometimes if I have to pick, I pick the vagina, you know? But you pick oh, really not growing but, do you, but do you pick it every time? See? That's the problem. No, but I pick it more times than I pick the other one. So then the answer is clearly the by it, choice it, it, or because you're forced to. By choice. So somebody's forcing you to eat ice cream over cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if it was left up to him between the two holes, would he always pick the? No, vegetable? but if I was, if it was like I had to pick always one or always the other, like always ice cream or always cake, I would always pick the ice cream. There we go. So if you had to pick one other, you'd always pick vagina. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, Nick's not down. <laughs> I you know. already, so I Nick, already explained why I think the way I think about this topic. Yeah, because you're homophobic. No, that's not. Do you remember what I said? Yeah, you said everybody. Yeah, guys a have a butthole. 
What's your I point? Look, there's that's the point. Yeah, guys have lips too. You don't when you kiss a girl, it doesn't mean <laughs> what's the, what's the guys fucking, have ears. He guys took have your nose, 27 guys episodes have to come up with. I thought about. I've been, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> you want to throw that at me now? I've been thinking oh, about it. <laughs> that shit. I came guys up with it last night. I was like, finally, I got him. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> give out a dude's nipples when I'm sucking on my wife's tits. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right, I'll go with the ice cream, but you guys have to fucking think about these things a little Shut bit. Shut up. The answer's fucking ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of a man's nipple. Look how angry this is. Are you, did you start the trend? You started the trend, didn't you? No. Who? Yeah, you did. No. <laughs> the answer's ice cream. <laughs> how many weeks out now? It was seven this past weekend. All right, that's why. All right, we're going to get more and more intense as we go. <laughs> I'm five days out. Uh, why was Guy the sa- in the same weight class as the bikini competitors with a recent photo posted today? What? I don't know. I bet Jay said same weight class, bro. Only kidding. Guy looks insane right now. Can't be. It sounds really stupid. Yeah, it does sound. It sounds like somebody trying to roast you, but not. Doing oh it wait, I think uh, I was at a show and I gave out bikini awards and took a picture of bikini bikini. Uh, oh, this is hilarious. For Ian, do you ever see Chris's face and Melissa at the wrong time? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't really think they look alike. What are you talking about? Yeah, they do. I think they look nothing alike. They crazy? Huh? You must be crazy. Do you, does any? Do you think they look alike, Nick? No, I don't. I don't think they look anything alike. I don't. You guys are fucking lying. They have a completely different face shape, completely different nose, completely different eyes, color eyes. Melissa's got dark skin. Chris doesn't. They look like they look nothing alike to me. But I mean, even then, Chris is good looking. Like I don't give a fuck. Like you know, what I mean? <laughs> that's the truth. Oh, guy. If, I, if I'm banging Melissa and see Chris's face, I'm like, meh. You know, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's like, there could be worse guys to fuck. It could be with. worse for sure. You know, of all the guys' face to see when you're banging your wife, Chris Bum says it's pretty good. <laughs> all right. Nah. Yeah, they do, dude. They really don't. Really? Yeah. No, dude. I think they do. I think you, they do do not. I totally think they do. No. I totally think they do. Go not. to Instagram. Go to Instagram where you can see actual pictures. Well, we're looking at actual pictures. Yeah, but these are stage photos where it's like dieted down faces. Like, pick real photos. Yeah, but look at how close their faces look. They look nothing alike. Their noses are the same. The face shape is the no. same. Oh, yeah, it's the same as they both have if a you, nose. If you took the eyes, the eye makeup off her eyes, their eyes would look the same. No. Their foreheads are the same size. The only thing I could, I could see is this right here. That uh, looks good. Yeah. Their fucking smiles are the same too, guy. What are you talking about? They have white fucking teeth. You yeah. know, their lips are their lips are the same size and everything. No, man, not at all. No, nah, I don't I'm not I don't agree on this one. Are you guys crazy? Go to Instagram. Go to Instagram. Go to Moses' Instagram. Go ahead. You're three to zero on this. Just stop. I don't have to agree with everybody. You motherfuckers all agree with each other all the time. It's boring shit. Oh, do you want us to you, you want us to say we're we're lying just to fucking I'm not boring. <laughs> I'm not boring. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what are we looking at uh, ian where are, we, where are you I taking a picture it? of her and chris together okay where the fuck is that gonna be it won't be far there all right, look at them like... they fucking look the same they don't look the same are you fucking kidding me they look I the same chris look more similar than fucking yeah. Melissa. me and chris look the same there because we're both tanned oh my god are you fucking is it am i crazy am i insane yeah, we yeah, discovered that fucking years ago. One second here. I'm going to find another one. Here we go. We're going to be here all day. Way to go, Ian. <laughs> no, no. One more, and then I'll stop. I just want to make sure. Right I'll, there. Where? That's a right there. competition, though. We're, we're looking for, like, a normal. Look at them. Oh, that's not a really good photo. Look at this. They don't look anything alike. They're high, dude. They look nothing alike. They have the same fucking nose and mouth. And not they're at high. all. And look their, at the eye, their nose completely different man trust me it's not complete i'm looking at it dude i literally see these people every day trust me they don't look at all like different eyes different face shape everything am i am i insane like their mouth is the same their nose yeah. is the same they, they have white teeth yeah i agree i said mouth asshole i didn't say teeth <laughs> nick say something uh, 
I, I told I, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. They don't look alike. Okay, I guess I'm way off. Crazy. You can see they're related, but okay, they don't ser- look alike. seriously. This this one, you guys seriously, you guys don't see it. No. Not at all. I see fucking Wolverine's brother. Yeah. Look at him with the fucking ponytail then. Crazy. Yeah, all right. no. All right. I'll take the L, I guess. You don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Three, three games up. Uh, all right, Ian. Yeah. If you and Melissa had to have a kid, how top tier are their genetics going to be? I don't know. Pretty good, I guess. Good. I don't know. At what for bodybuilding? Do bodybuilding. You think your, do you think your kid will bodybuild? I hope not. That's what I was asking. That's kind of what I was looking for. Yeah. You don't want your kid to bodybuild? I mean, no. I mean, I'm not going to deter them from it, but I would prefer they didn't. Does the Hunter thing, like Hunter watching Hunter with his dad kind of like make you think differently at all? I mean, yeah. Like I look at that. I think it's it's cool. And I think the dynamic is awesome, but uh, I, don't I know. know. Living the world, the life as a bodybuilder, I wouldn't want my kid to be tough, part of it. Tough life. Hey, do you guys ever see people doing athletic shit and like wonder if you ever could have done that? No. If you didn't? The answer is always yes to me. What do you mean? Like what, like jumping on shit? And like- no, like when I go through, like if I'm going through like reels or something on fucking Instagram and I see like skateboarders doing like really cool shit, I'm like... I, like I skated, I snowboarded, like I played a bunch of sports, like I, I, I like... Yeah, but you had to stop all of it, like to bodybuild, so I'm like... I'm upstairs on my skateboard right now. Do it. I've done it before, I just, I sent you a video of it. Was it good? I don't remember. I was just ollieing down, but yeah, I, I still snowboard every year, I might snowboard downstairs. Yeah, but you're fucking like 200 pounds, it's different. <laughs> I'm not I, saying it offensively. I'm just mean like you're not overly like. Oh, when I started dieting, I was 230 pounds. You can fucking suck a bag of dicks because I don't understand where this 200 pound shit comes from. Nick, do you ever uh, do you ever think you could have done something different? No. No, you don't ever look at like people doing cool shit like surfing or skateboarding or like snowboarding. Like everybody here is, is is like was physically active and did other shit before bodybuilding. Like I, I, I hardly did not picture Ian like playing sports. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you mean? Ian, did you play any sports? I ran track. Like he's an athlete. Like he's like, he can. Yeah, but what does that have to do with what I'm saying? What what I'm, what I'm trying to say is this. Let's say, like, for example, I used to ski, right? And then once I got to a certain size, I couldn't ski anymore. I'm like, this is not really viable for, especially for my career. If I hurt myself or whatever, right? So I'm just saying, like, do you ever look at certain cool shit and you're like, yeah, I kind of had to give that up for this? No, because I never gave that stuff up. Like, I still go snowboarding. I just don't do the dumb shit I used to do on the snowboard. I don't go to the fucking ramps and the rails and the fucking. I agree. Gap. I won't. I won't snowboard anymore. I used to snowboard a lot. I'm, I'm good, but I would. I don't snowboard since I've been over 240. When you watch, if you see a video of like some X game shit where guys are doing jumps or like oh. any shit like that, do you ever like? The only- no. Am, you, are you envious of that or no? No, I'm envious of, tra- of track athletes. That's it. Okay. So there is something, though, where you're like, fuck, I wish yeah. I could still do that. Yeah, I wish I could run yeah. fast. Okay. I could dunk. <laughs> yeah, but you probably wish you could dunk before you started bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a track lead. No, before that, I just wish I grew. <laughs> uh, how does Ian deal with the munchies when he smokes every day? I don't get them. Duh. Duh. You don't get the munchies? Fuck no. I don't think people who actually smoke every day get the munchies. I think no. it's like a, I think it's like a new person thing. I just like eat my normal meal and fucking live my life, you know. No, but you know what I'm saying. And I think Paul's told me that before. It's like you don't get the you don't get the munchies unless you're like kind of new at it. No, it's it's different. Yeah. I mean, it's also like if it's around you. Like if I'm high as shit and there's a bag of Doritos on the table, you'll be like, "Ooh, that looks good." But like, I don't fucking have that food in my house, you know. Like, I, yeah. So I don't even think about it. Is that how you do it? That's actually a good question. Is that how you do it? You just don't have anything shitty in the house. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat it anyways. But it would be more tempting if I was looking at a bag of Doritos. But like, no, no I'm not. I'm not questioning your discipline. This is what I'm trying to say. For me, if I have a cheat night and I order like a pizza and I have a bag of chips or something, I try and finish everything that night. Yeah. And whatever's not finished, I throw in the garbage. I don't like it in the house. Yeah. Is That's that how you guys do it? Or are you guys disciplined enough to keep things in the cupboard? I can keep it. Yeah. I got a whole. I, I don't eat. I don't eat cheat food. But like, it, for Melissa, like something like that. Like, yeah, you got to throw it out after. Yeah. 
Guy, you guy, you have stuff that you just leave. I have a freezer full of cookies and fucking frozen pizza. And but you have a little something every night anyway, though. Now? Oh, not when you're prepping, though. That's right. I haven't but had. You... I, it or not, I haven't had a cheat meal this entire prep. <laughs> and Nick, you don't care. You leave stuff in the cupboard or the fridge. Doesn't bother you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not like that. I feel like it's got to be out of the. I don't want to fucking see it. It's got to be out of the house. Not like one of my fucking bikini competitors that I train. I can't. Fine in the house because i just eat that's fine you can hey you can say whatever you want about my process it worked so i don't give a fuck (laughs) i just don't want to see it why am i going to put myself through the i don't want to open the fridge i had a client once tell me that she had to have her sister lock her peanut butter in the car because she was (laughs) i go if that's the extent you have to go to to not eat then you're in the wrong fucking sport no that's like that it's literally insane look i'm not saying i don't have the discipline if it is in the house i'm saying i don't want to bother yeah if i don't need it to be here you know what i mean like but you know what I do when I diet is like, I'll be at the store and like, like if I diet for 10, 12 weeks, I'll be at the store for 10 or 12 different times, like however many times throughout my 10 or 12 week prep and see shit that I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy this now because it might not be here after my show. And then by the time my prep's over, I have like fucking five cupboards full of fucking garbage that I bought that I thought I would eat that I don't end up eating. Yeah. Could the world just stop? <laughs> Who has reading questions? The word did somebody just hit pause when I was just, I got done talking. And isn't that, is that still <laughs> moving? So we're okay. <laughs> is that the worst when you when you make a? Is it the worst when you make a point and nobody says anything? You're like, <laughs> yeah, this is this is. I I looked I looked down. This was Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we've been like over two hours. We're like three hours. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. I totally normally could watch the clock, but I don't. I, I didn't watch. I wasn't watching today. Hey, do All you right. want to hear my posing music? Actually, I never. No. Did. It's actually fucking awesome. I, I do. What is it? You want me to play it? Yeah. Don't judge me in the beginning because I know how you fuckers roll. <laughs> it's going to be bad. <laughs> no, it's actually fucking awesome. I haven't heard it yet. I asked them to cut it this way. Nick, you're going to listen, you fucking loser. I can hear it, dickhead. Why do you got to be a dick? Okay, play it. That's pretty cool. Like that shit? Little change up. Go from fucking Phil Collins to non point like that? But that's like, it's the most overused guest opposing song ever. What, that combo? No, but that song. What are you. Sorry, guys. I got to cut out. My parents are about to leave. All right. Bye, mom and dad. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.